Ex yeah, recommended settings, Jordan. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Creature Talk. Jordan's going to have to run over here. Well, some, one Talk day we'll actually have a producer to sit over there so he doesn't have to run back over and be like, Hello! <laughs> Producer. Uh, Produced it? Yeah. Wow. Is that in the budget? Yeah. Do we have a budget? Uh, Let's just put yeah. Joe in there. You know, actually oh. recently hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Creech Talk. Hey. <sighs> guys. Thank you for welcoming Wait, me. What's going Jordan, on? Where are you, Jordan? Oh, well, uh, I had just slipped away to go to the bathroom. <laughs> wow. Yes. Exactly. Or to run the intro. Pants over there in the corner where you were sitting? Uh, Alex, <laughs> you're not supposed to tell them I was running that stuff. So, <laughs> oh, man. welcome to Creature Talk. What's the date, Welcome Jordan? to Creature Talk. Today the is... 14th of March. March 14th. Are you Jordan? Are so you Jordan? <laughs> Friday the 13th, man. No, that was yesterday. I actually turned Alex in the Taco Saturday Bell and said that to him. You Wait. did say that. I, didn't I, I just had to remind it, him. But I did, I did hear that. <laughs> so, <laughs> this episode, but this episode not. of Creature Talk is brought to you in part by Blood Brothers 2. Or sorry, it is brought to you by Blood Brothers 2. Blood Brothers 2 is an action-packed dark fantasy role-playing game that is now available for free on Apple and Android devices. Being the sequel to the hit dark fantasy RPG Blood Brothers, Blood Brothers 2 expands itself into a more unique art style, storytelling and RPG mechanics that sets it apart from other RPG mobile games. Immerse yourself in a deep RPG experience set in Anashia. That's that word again, Anashia. <laughs> I, like I just like the sound of that world. Anashia! Anashia way! Well, not a way. Way? For a mission! Uh, so anyway, uh, a world which has been thrown into a state of chaos and war. Limitless amounts of choices prevent them, present themselves to allow you to customize your army and story to shape your gameplay experience, including a player versus player mode that allows you to team up with your friends. Also remember to join in weekly events and choose your fate and determine how the flow of, the, of your game's story. So check out bloodbrothers2.com, that's the number two for more information, and visit the App Store and Google Play now to download Blood Brothers 2 for free. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely free. Mm. I, I don't know, just Anashia. It's an interesting oh, name. No. Anashia. And I can only say it in a British accent, of course. Arnashia. I'd like to go down Arnashia. to Arnashia. Arnashia. <laughs> I think Arnashia. that's right near Fayetteville. Arnashia or Arnashia. Yeah, it does need it. Anashia. Anashia. All right. Anashia. So, welcome everyone to good old fashioned creature talk. Good old fashioned um, creature talk is brought to you by the creatures. Just like mommy used to make. What are you doing right know, now? Wallet was He's like, pulling out his wallet so he can well, Did you just like the, your first <laughs> so, so Alex, your first <laughs> instinct is to stuff your wallet in between your chair. It works. Look at that. I mean, yeah, I guess so. It's just so fast. Are you going to remember it, it? No, I won't. But it's <laughs> not going to be, you know, hurting my ass. He's just going to walk in here later and it's just going to be wedged in between. The <laughs> oh shit. I thought about beforehand and took it no, out actually, of my pocket so it's I, not I digging need, into my I need ass. a I need a memory buddy. I need some a memory room. buddy. Memory buddy. Because I know you know what your memory can buddy it. can be, Alex, is the chat. Jordan Shit. All it. right. If I leave and you guys see me get up without this, please tweet at me. Or no, be right when we're right wrapping up. at the end up, of the show. When we're wrapping him. up, start saying, Alex, grab your wallet. Yeah. And then yes. let's see if that people actually yeah. <laughs> Or if they stick around the entire time. Because I will now remember this is a key location. I'll check everything <laughs> <else>. <laughs> I like, I left Halfway through Creature Talk, random people are going to come in. And they're going to be like, what the fuck is that wallet? What is that wallet? Is that, is that, is that like, it looks like a, a is there a chip in the chair? Is it like broken? or? I think uh, I can, can see your credit card number from here, Alex. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can see it. Right <laughs> yeah, there. I've heard there's some apps that can like zoom enhance and yeah, up resolution really easily. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. scary. Next gen. Uh, apps. So, Alex, grab your wallet. Thanks. Uh, remind me in two hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's let's see if they actually remember. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see if anybody so anyway, actually remembers. Anyway, cool. we are sitting here with Mr. Daniel, Mr. Kevin, Mr. Alexander, and myself. And not pre-recorded. And not pre-recorded this time. Last week we did our first ever pre-recorded creature talk, and Mr. Joe, of course, ran the uh, ran the stream after I, hundreds of creature talks. At this point, like I mean, there's been more than I just think. The ones I think we, that we I uh, and stuff. I want to say we've done it once before. Really? Um, but I don't think we like aired it. Yeah. yeah. Like we just recorded it, and, and then, then I think we just it. posted it and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So. Oh shit! Today is Pi Day. Yeah. It's is it literally pie? three one four one five. Ooh. I think well, someone it was Pi Day. Though. 
Well, what would the next? What's the perfect time for that as well? Like, there's got to be a time in the day where oh, it's, yeah. it continues the string to like the the hours, it's the like, minutes, and the one, seconds. Five, one, six. I have no idea. Just be three, like, uh, three, like one, four, one, five. No, it continues the string. So nine, three, two, oh, yeah. uh, nine, two, six are the next oh, nine, three two, that would six. make sense. So nine, nine twenty six tonight, it will further continue. Oh, and fifty three seconds, by the way. And fifty nine. How many milliseconds? Uh, five nine. So 59 milliseconds. <laughs> what yeah. do we do with that? Well, what happened to you last Pi Day? Oh, yeah. I got I got destroyed last <laughs> Pi Day. I can't believe that. Did you not know it was Pi Day until it's you saw it in the chat no, or something no. like that? No, until you You think at this point you'd be dreading day. this day. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. No, this uh, is like the only day that we'll do that, though. Yep. Three, one, four, one, five. There will be no other day like that. Well, maybe three, one, five, right? Three thousand fifteen will continue. Yeah, but that's it. a long ways away. Yeah, we'll be well, like ten generations we'll, of us will be dead by that point. Yeah, but do you think they'll be in school? And be like, it is three one four one five. <laughs> it is Pi Day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 our ancestors would no, be laughing. Well, 30, 30, 50, <laughs> Let us all eat pie in celebration. Away. What a great meme! Praise, <laughs> praise the meme gods. Good meme. <laughs> the meme gods. <laughs> what a scary place this world will be in a few Whoa. thousand years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Good don't meme. Think about it. Ah, so, anyway, let's get on to the topic list. And the first topic is something that Dan's not going to know much about. That's why I said but, I didn't know uh, what it was. Me, Maybe Kevin, you can educate me. Oh, we'll educate you, Daniel. We'll educate oh, you. Okay. Does Alex know? Oh, no, yeah. He darn sure knows. He darn sure knows. In fact, the reason we're sitting here at this such late hour is because of this topic. Mm. That oh. is Katowice. Oh, is that the... Katowice. Katowice. Is that when I said, are we talking about that? And you said, well, it's a topic. Is that what this is? The Counter-Strike yes, thing? Yes. Yes. This is Counter-Strike. Oh, okay. So... Right now, um, I don't think streaming right now. I think they ended a little bit earlier. Uh, is the I, I what, is, what is the name? Right of, is it just Katowice? Is that it, or is there ESL a, ESL I mean, one Katowice. Polish? It's a Polish tournament in in a, like I guess a city called Katowice. Yeah, yeah. So Katowice. Katowice. Yeah, it happened last year too. So Katowice. Katowice. Big <laughs> event for the <laughs> Polacks down there. So it's. Um, <clears throat> Is there any like other things that's called like world championship kind or just like s- country no. European anything? No, or is it just like, an event? Like Cologne, I think, is the biggest. Like okay. Germany, Cologne. As far as viewership, I'd say this is probably yes. the top yeah. Counter Strike event to happen ever. It's like, pretty crazy because people people ours are so shit too. Yeah. Like, no, for, no, it's a European you, you stream. And they kind of like, and it usually makes up a big scene for a lot of things like league and whatever. But people argue that it's like more Asian. That are not more Asian than not, but like um, I guess like Counter Strike is like really European heavy, but a lot of NA people have tuned in, uh, obviously. So <clears throat> yeah, it's it had some pretty high concurrent. It broke five hundred thousand yep. concurrent. So that's like league numbers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The game's been out for two years, right? So all three years, pretty much. Almost three. Yeah, yeah it really hit three. its its spike. Yeah, I would say it's doing, it's doing really well. It's it's like just randomly like last year or 2013 is when it like started just tracking its way. So yeah, big numbers, big numbers. Yep. Was Counter was the first Counter Strike not a big competitive game? Ca- no, Counter Strike has always been like yeah. from like 1.6 yeah. to Source. Like it, all those have been really but competitive, been but it's never been yeah. like it's, esports wasn't that yeah, big I mean, back then. 1.6 is was huge for what it was. Um, but like uh, the competitive teams have been really weird, and be- it wasn't it wasn't like really popular, like you know, like the way esports is popular now. Like one point six wasn't like that popular. Like League of Legends started, oh well, Dota, I guess people argue Dota, oh like Warcraft tournaments and stuff like that. Call of Duty, Halo, like that's when the era was like starting to like really pick up. It's when people like actually started watching them because yeah. like one point six would have been the era of like land tournaments where you'd have to like have an event in your area to go watch it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, rather than being able to just sit at your on your couch and be like, oh hey, what's going on on you know this the Counter Strike channel here and being able to watch it. Yeah. I'm so. waiting for the day that I can, like, have, like, a TV app. Like, I know Twitch is, like, a thing, but, like, I just want to have, like, one thing on the TV where I can just, like, watch it. Like, somebody would would if they're, like, I'm going to watch some college football and they turn on their TV. Like, I want that. There will. I, I have a feeling within the next year there's going to be some sort of esports channel. There's got to oh, be. Yeah. Like, it's going to be mainly StarCraft, though. I yeah, know it's going to be, it's it's gonna be a lot of stuff, but it's going to be a place where you're going to be able, I mean, it's going to be hard like because there's you know a lot of big streaming stuff out there, but like someone's going to get the rights and someone's going to start like just broadcasting all these events. And then there's going to be lots of controversy over 
I don't want my kids tuning in and watching people shooting each other and watching them talk about terrorists and yeah. counter terrorists and bombs. And bombs and, and, I didn't even think about that. I don't know. Yeah. We'll we'll <laughs> see. But that the the well, Minecraft was just gets you guys didn't have that for a topic. Minecraft, oh yeah, I saw uh, it got like. I mean, we. I guess I can just quick add it up there, and we can t- finish the Cataways discussion. Let's yeah, go for it. Is go that? For it. I, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm. I don't sure know. I look it up really it. quick. I probably could. Something about what? It. what am I looking? Look up Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Just Anything else more specific? <laughs> Should I look at news within the last like oh, week well, yeah, or yeah, twenty-four yeah. hours? It'll pop okay. up. It doesn't have something to do with Turkey. Uh, I was I was gonna I was trying to keep it discreet. Yeah, okay, no, 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 just, just discreet go for it. No, I, I, see, I see it. It's yeah, Minecraft. Yeah, go. He'll find it. It's, I, I already found it. So go. Yeah. Well, um, do so anyway, Catawice. I haven't had a chance to watch much of it. I just this morning finally got to watch. I got to watch the. Uh, fanatic. It's not like you. I mean, you missed like the group stages and like the yeah. quarterfinals, but I mean, yeah, no, I usually semis like, and, and finals is where it's semis. Yeah, that's where it's usually the best. Mm-hmm. And uh, that fanatic um, nip game, or sorry. Was it Nip? No, no, v- VP. VP. Fnatic VP, VP being the home team. So they were getting a lot of uh, a lot of good support. Like the live crowd was going pretty pretty nuts. Mm-hmm. Um, so I saw that one. Fnatic came out on top and went so advanced to the finals. Then Nip versus Envy. And um, uh, the Nip won on that one, correct? On wh- I'm sorry, what? The, f- the Nip versus Envy? Yep. So, so yeah, and so Nip advanced, so that means the finals tomorrow are going to be Fnatic versus Nip, two Swedish teams, I believe. Uh, we were talking about a Fnatic might not be full Swedish or whatever, but... Uh, They're mostly Swedish. Mostly Swedes. No, yeah, I was saying that so Nip like has one a or two of them. player now, but... Yeah. Yeah, but they're. I guess like I think it's. I've seen someone say the Scandin- Scandinavian face off to you know account for all those countries. But um, <laughs> so we'll see what happens there, and then the semifinals, of course, are going to be VP and and e, e, is it Evil Geniuses or Envy? What am I? Am I mixing those Envious, two up? Yes. Yeah. Envy. Oh yeah, I keep on. I always mix those two up. But uh, so we'll see how that goes. That should be pretty exciting. I'll probably bet a few skins here and there. You know, just, I don't bet I mean, skins. Just a few skins. Uh, yeah, I, I stopped, haven't done it in a while. I stopped but betting skins. Why? Because I got a really big payout from that one in uh, X Game. The oh X Games yeah. Matches, yeah. And then I just cut my losses there. What did you get? I got a uh, Vulcan and a Star Trek Red Line, and few. Uh, I think it was a factory new water elemental. As well, and a whole bunch of like little lesser skins, mm. but pretty big payout right there. It's a pretty Bigger big payout. payout. I lost on that one. Oh yeah, you did. That oh, because LDLC is that what you bet on? No, we he bet, he on? bet on LDLC. Like really? we were yeah. both gonna go for was go it Nip? Dog? It was Nip. Wait, no, no, we no were they were pretty nip, even. And then James like, couldn't bet. Yeah, okay. James so couldn't bet, I so had, I was, I was like, I'll do Nip. The other one. You go ahead and bet LDLC. So we're just like opposing, and then yeah, you know, of course. He got it, so it was yeah, close. that really sucked. No, it was I mean, really close. Um, yeah, the games have been really cool. Because, uh, I, I, again, I stayed up this morning to watch the uh, Nip TSM game. Because I, I like watching Nip. Um, they're, like, they've been, like, an up and – well, I wouldn't say up and down team. They've been, like, really weirdly consistent. Like, they get in the finals, and it's, like, they either win or, like, some shit happens to them. And, like, TSM is kind of, like – I wouldn't say newish to the scene, but they're not they're not favored to win. So like when I tuned in, I was like, I wanted to see like an upset. Like in the bottom of my heart, I was like, <laughs> an upset would be really cool here because like TSM in the finals, like just fucking randomly in this like big tournament, where like you know VP is like going super hard because it's like their home turf. Fnatic is trying to like be the number one. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's even like the new team, uh, Keed. That did really well against the VP. Mm. Oh, nobody, really? Yeah, one of the players from I think CLG, uh, Peter. He like he went off to be like their coach, like he just was in the booth with them, like like cheering them on and stuff. He's just like a player, like team captain for uh, an opposing team. But he just like because they got dropped out, he like went and like subbed in as their coach for them. So it was like really <laughs> cool to see that. And they like, they did had a really good game against uh, VP. Um, so everyone was impressed by them. But like the tournament's been so fun to watch and stuff. Um, but now that it's like Fnatic, and, and Fnatic beat VP, unfortunately. I, I wanted to see VP and NIP because I feel like you know it's like home turf. Home turf, like, yeah. Having a home home you know, team in the fi- uh, finals would have been awesome. That would right. have been a really good game. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. And I for, think it would have been pretty even. Fnatic match, is just Fnatic is just insane. that much better that it's it's not relevant at that point. Like how good VP is doing, that Fnatic is just gonna like be that one level above. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's gonna be cool to see NIP and Fnatic again. 
I I want I I would like for NIP to win honestly, mm -hmm. but like it's gonna be a really, it's gonna be a really like uh, hard game I think for NIP, because this this tournament they they haven't really been just stomping like they they stomp like on one map and then they'd get like defeated on the next one and they'd be like up and down so like they have to literally be like a hundred percent if they want to like beat Fnatic so. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully I can catch it and not have to like stay up till like nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you probably will. No, it, will that be best of five or three? Uh, it's usually best of three, but I, 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 I don't think, I, I don't think I've seen a best of five before, but I, I can imagine either. that would be super grueling for them. <laughs> yeah, that would kind of suck. Uh, be, yeah. yeah, I haven't seen the best of five in a long time. Because most of them last about <clears throat> 50 minutes. Because yeah. they so had like, they had game. like overtime yesterday. <clears throat> So that, that's why the NIP match had to be like pushed till today, because there was an overtime yesterday. So I mean, either way, they have overtime, and overtime is like six overtimes or some shit like that. So like six rounds. Of yeah, it's six rounds. I've seen I've seen that go to like I, I think I saw like a five o OT set yeah. where they just kept going, kept tying it up, and it just ended up like insane. So like matches have the potential of running for like an hour and a half sometimes. So yeah. It's pretty pretty insane, but uh, I'm I'm pretty excited to see how the turnout is, and uh, what's most exciting about it is just the amount of exposure and how many people tuned in to watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ever, over a million yeah, person people. Every like that day. that's that's pretty crazy. So that like leads into even more CS, and hopefully that that awesome TV channel of mm -hmm. esports that may <laughs> oh, come. Yeah. That may come Half soon. Half Life TV, man. Hey, speaking <laughs> speaking of which, I, I sent I sent Alex a picture. I, I don't know if you'd seen it already or not, but uh, someone snapped a front row picture of the the seats that were reserved for Valve. So the, the entire thing is full, and there's just a row of Valve seats that are reserved that no one's at. I swear to God, one, one of the <laughs> Valve reps is going to be like, "That picture was taken before we could get there." Yeah. Okay, we were on our way. Well, what's better is there is a Photoshop, of course, of Gabe laying across all. <laughs> oh is that made up for it? But yeah, it's just, <laughs> they need to they need to like smarten up a little bit. They're they're the weirdest company in the Fet sense that it's like they're the most community oriented, but not the most community oriented company out yeah. there. They accept all these mods, all these community made stuff. They hired on a bunch of community people. But you never but then see when them. it comes to like yeah, seeing them like, and like them interacting with their fans, like, it's like they don't nothing. exist. But they exist. I feel like they must think the fans are just assholes. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, uh, how For good like, reason. Gaben knows about Gaben Please. Like, he's aware of that as oh, a thing. I'm sure he is. Like, Gaben Please. Like, that is a thing, and he's aware of it. But, like, he how many times? You think if uh, Gaben goes to, like, PAX, used to be like, hey, we're doing a Valve thing. You know, uh, people be like, where's Half-Life 3? <laughs> uh, 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 we'll talk about that. Well, Half-Life 3, <laughs> asshole. Okay, like... That's why they go to like GDC where you know like developers are going to be like, yeah, yeah. Have, like blah, 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 blah. But, but some of them still do it because it's just a bunch of indie devs now. I guess indie devs will fucking do it. Indie <laughs> devs will do whatever because they're fucking indie devs. Oh, so yeah, man. that's that's probably a good reason why they don't do that shit. I yeah, like, I can see it, but like, I mean, I I see the day. I I imagine it. Like out of all the co press conferences I've been to, like imagining sitting in a theater. With, with pitch dark and then like the the lambda like logo or something pops up or like a crowbar is sitting in l l wedged and in some yeah, snow and like alex fans gordon gordon and then yeah it just game. erupts and like <laughs> i can't even imagine I, like, I, I, just, know, I gave myself goosebumps it's, 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 <laughs> it's the crowbar thing where one like, pops up and then another pops up it would it would and have to be it would one. have to be a scene where where it's just like you know you see like Third feet crowbar. walking or something all of a sudden and then a crowbar just falls on the ground and then like, like just rise and shine rise. Mr. Freeman <laughs> like oh! unforeseen it's consequences like episode 3 <laughs> <laughs> Not, not That's all we're here for. Yeah. Not to be confused with Half Life Three, <laughs> but Episode Three. I, I think fans would be excited either way because yeah. they, they oh, like they a two about hour VR actually, experience no, just, we've got I lined up. About, I haven't seen like would people do let's plays of that? You know, probably uh, Episode Three. Probably because oh, yeah. it's been so long, right? Yeah. Like they would go back and so I'd, if I were to do it, I'd yeah, go back I'd and play the whole. Because people people do like huge games now, obviously, but like. Half Life Three was like, or Half Life Two, I'm sorry, was huge back then. But like, let's plays weren't really big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, do you think like Episode Three, like my playthrough? All right, I'm gonna be playing hey guys, uh, Episode Three here, guys. I three. hope uh, you have fun. It's gonna be like, 
I don't know what happened in the last two, but uh, <laughs> that's why people, smart people just come in go back talking and about play. Half-Life 3, and I assume this is it. I had to buy Half-Life 2 to play this, so I mean, <laughs> I haven't played Half-Life 2, though. <laughs> Yeah, we'll think see about, I mean, Half Life Two was pretty good. Half Life Two was really good. I played like Episode Two was super half good. Half of it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the episodes are really awesome. Yeah, then they had that one that was like the fucking lagoon with the fishermen. The, the, the lost, lost. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it was lost, all it was was a it was a tech demo. Okay, yep. it, it lasted about like thirty minutes or something like that. It was just pretty much showing off their. Uh, Doing. Revised engine. Oh, okay. So well, that's it, what I figured. No, don't but... worry about okay. missing that. I didn't know if there was just like a thing Lost that was going to be like, oh, that's Lost Coast. Yeah. Like, yeah, no. Well, because was... you had like Half Life Blue Shift and stuff. And like, that's like kind of a big thing because it's like Barney's like yeah, whole Blue Shift perspective. And... Yeah. Which uh, is cool. Opposing force. Yeah, opposing, opposing force. Yeah. Opposing force. Yeah. And then, yeah, opposing force where you get to go in and like kill people. Yeah. I should be one of the soldiers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't played I haven't played those two originals. All the Half Lives. How about you, Dan? I played like half of Half Life Two. I got that part where you're you're in the in the in the the boat thing. Yeah, and you go around, and it's like like, you have to get out, and you have to do something, and you get back in the boat thing. Mm. And then just gonna... after City 17. He hasn't even been to Ravenholm Hold, yet. I know. Oh, yeah. Well, wait, what, what is it? Ravenholm, Ravenholm is awful. And I think I got to I loved that. playing the game up till Ravenholm. You said you were With in the crazy the... priest guy? Yeah. yeah. Maybe okay. I got Father Gregory. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Father I got to Gregory. Him. I got to him. Okay. Well, you so maybe I maybe then. I was just wrong. I wanted yeah, his if, gun. If I want to survive. <laughs> if you survived Ravenhold. You've you know. You I can, remember like that I was got like so scared by. Yeah, I, I really loved it. My fuck. experience with that was like, I had remembered I never really had a gaming PC, and then Spoon got me to get one that was like capable of running Half Life and stuff, mm-hmm. and I played through Half Life Two, and it, so I was like. 3 a.m. I'm <laughs> sitting downstairs and it's pitch black and I and I'm there. Alex is like, we don't go to Ravenholm and I'm like, oh no, this isn't gonna happen. And sure enough, a few minutes later, I'm going into Ravenholm and I'm yep. like, oh, this is creepy. And then you gotta solve puzzles while you're scared. Yeah, that was, that <laughs> I was played fun. for four hours. Does that sound about right to get there? Yeah. 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 What is it yeah. about? It 11? felt like I was playing forever at the time because I pretty much played it in one sitting. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or well, one or two sittings. Is it 11 hours? I thought I got about halfway through, it's but like I don't eight know. to ten, eight to maybe. 10, I'd say, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like you got to go through that, and then you're back. There's twelve out. chapters or thirteen chapters. I can't even remember. Thirteen levels. You go back and play that game. I played eighteen hours of Gary's mod, like four or five years ago. Hmm. <laughs> that That's was pretty wild. good. I have like almost just, a thousand hours of this Gary's. This guy's mod. pretty crazy. Hours on Gary's mod. That was a dark time in I my I have 168 life. hours on Just Cause 2, and that's all just listening to podcasts or Howard Stern or something like that. <laughs> Screwing like, around. And just flying around with a bunch of mods in the game where I, I have, what we like, should do next time is go through and figure out who, what everyone's most played game is. That's my most Gary's played Gary's mine's 100%. TF2. I can, no, I can look it up right now. I can look it up for everybody. Oh, yeah. That's just Steam, though. Yeah. Most well, I meant, I meant Steam. on – well, Steam, you can see the hours is yeah. how it was going on it. Um. But yeah, so Catalyze. So throughout the creature talk, I'll tell you what you guys, what your most played game is, oh, and how okay. long. It'll be like that birthday segment, like yeah, this day yeah. on your birthday. Except Cause cause like, and wow, I had like 180 days on one of my characters. You times that by 24 in terms of hours. I'm gonna have to get your guys' Steam IDs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's IDing us for our Steam IDs. I feel IDs. comfortable oh, saying that. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna log into Steam and then. then hey, the, you yeah. just check your friends list, like. Yeah, that's what he's doing. No, but I'm not logged into Steam. That's what I just said. I have yeah, to log, log into Steam. Steam. Oh, I, it's right. gonna ping me an email. It's isn't a it? I have to sign into my email. Half Life Two. Hold on. Half Life Two is the only reason that I actually have Steam, or had Steam that early, because I have I've had my account for like eleven years. I think it's pretty much or same something. here. I think I got it for Half Life and such. Yeah, hey, are we, bought, did, Alex, were you around coffee. for Green Steam? No, I Green Steam. Green Steam. Green Steam. When yeah, I, I first came into so it, sad that was just gone. Yeah, that being a thing. So Green Steam was just like the nastiest looking Steam UI, <laughs> but <laughs> it was so like <laughs> oh, no, it was I a didn't. weird shade of like <laughs> it was, it was just like green. For Half-Life too, it was like an army like diarrhea green UI that was like green. I remember the diarrhea green, but. That was just because of like the Steam servers for like uh, like 1.6 and half. Yeah, like, yeah, like, that, that that's what color. it would be like. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that. Yeah, but was that was like, that was classic right there. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it was just like, search it. Just if you Google it. have uh, CS:GO and you open the legacy browser, it's like that except instead of gray, it's just green yeah. and yellow. And it's, yeah, no, I remember that. It's like green and gold. It's not like yeah, bright just look up either. green Steam. I just don't remember the, using that for. Well, no, I kind of do. I kind of do. I had like the green thing. 
for like the sign out instead of the mm-hmm. way it is now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I kind of remember that. It was remember, like super early on. I remember when they uh, added like you can have a profile picture too. Like before they, you weren't able to have a profile picture at all. It was just names. That's what you're talking about. Uh no, okay. that's like that's just green steam. That's just a current newer. That's current green. steam with green. <laughs> Which they do retro about, steam. It's not <laughs> called, well, the text was steam. different. Yeah. Like, that's what I was trying to figure out. Retro steam. You'll know it when you see it. It's old. It looks old. Because uh, I remember you had to like sign up for the beta, or to use the beta. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember for the new the new UI. I get and the, I signed up for it. I'm like, what yeah. is this? Yeah. And then there were some people with profile pictures and everybody else just got question marks. And it was just like, it's, what? It's tough searching for like old Steam or green Steam because sure, Steam like, pops up, but it's it's Steam. So like, it's uh, like it's a word that's 2000 used. UI, just put Steam. UI on the end. Okay, Steam like UI. Steam 2003 or something. <laughs> UI. Oh, Steam UI history. Oh, okay. they've got a layout of all the different Steams. Uh, oh, there, I think as soon as we wait for Dan to pull this up really quick, we'll oh, be able great. to see it. You guys it. are all just sitting around. Going, is it? How you doing, Alex? Are you excited for the game tomorrow? Yeah, I just hope I don't. I want to see the thing live. I don't want to see the rerun. Yeah, I just don't know what kind of like. I might just go to bed early. I guess <laughs> just, I don't usually do that for a lot of just things. Just wake up and be like, okay, I'm ready for this. Yeah, that'd be so, pretty cool. Somebody tweeted at me because I, I tweeted this morning that like I was staying up and they're like. Now you know how us Europeans feel about, like, NA. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. True. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Got me there. Daniel? No. Just, I'm getting, like, a bunch of Crossfire Steam. I don't know what that is. Well, All we right. Can, okay, um, never mind about the green just, Steam. Yeah. You guys will be able to find it. I was trying to pull up so the yes, other stuff about you guys. Predictions. We can't find it, but you'll tomorrow be able to find it. For tomorrow for Katowice. Um, Katowice. 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 I'm saying Fanatic's going to take it. You know, I actually thought that, like, NIP would destroy TSM, and I was wrong. So I want to say that Fanatic would do really well, but I just want to put on NIP. I want to see a show. I don't want to, like, have them go in and be like, oh, Fanatic's just the I, I put on I put skins on NIP before, and they let me down. Yeah, they do that. So I'm going yeah. Fanatic! Fanatic. I'd say NIP. So NIP and Just because Fanatic is, they're always up there. And I don't know. It's just They've been the most solidly, I, I've seen the most solid consistency <laughs> out of Fanatic compared to anyone else. Nip, I've seen good games, mm. but they're. Well, mm, it really, kinda, I mean, the consistency aside, it really just comes down to like those three maps yeah like yeah it's you know they just have to have they're the both best gonna three be great teams they they're both gonna be great teams it's gonna be a good match like i said it's like be a good game uh, nip struggled with envy yeah nip struggled with envy but they still they beat him 2-0 and then, i mean they struggled with tsm they tied one of them and then beat them afterwards so like you would think with like you know if their if their quarterfinals were like as hard as their semifinals, then like you would assume that the finals are at that at that level. But yeah, I think VP was was playing for like top of their game and stuff. But it's kind of strikes a weird game. It's just about momentum. Yeah, it's about mm-hmm. you know having the right opportunities and like I feel like NIP has handled that pressure multiple times, so it's nothing new to them. And so it'd be up to Fnatic to like keep their cool and stay consistent, I guess, for the finals. But the pressure might get to them too. I feel like some of the teams, like the pressure, really gets to them because, like, you're you're playing at a level of where one mistake can lose you that round, and like they, you know, one mistake up, can lose you the the entire match. Oh well, yeah, the, like, the whole match, like obviously the whole game. Because if you're looking at your your four rounds out from the end, and you mess up enough that your entire team loses all their weapons and you're bankrupt. Mm-hmm. And if you would have if you would have taken them out, you know, you would have kept at least like three guns that would have saved you, kind of thing. Yeah, like there, there's there's mistakes that can cost you the entire match, and it all lands on one person. So if that person like cracks under the pressure, it's ripperoni right there. And it's there. so much harder now that they changed it, so there's not a hundred percent armor penetration on the CZ. They did. Yep. What is that now? So it's at like eighty seven. When when did that get switched? Was that, that was recent a, or that was a that while was ago. last like while two ago. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I remember that then. That's why nobody uses the CZ very much anymore. I still yeah. use the CZ. The CZ I, I still, still do too. Beast. Yeah, 
I use CZ and Tech Nine CZ. I do my camp strat where I smoke. Yeah, it the off smoke, and just the smoke camp, and you're just like. <laughs> that's how, like how that's happened so many times too. I'm, I'm I, I I started people, using like, it too. <laughs> my like wood elo like still fall for that like smoke them on a peek out and then brrr, take their gun and run away. Like, yeah, and then you got a gun right there. It's a good save round strat. We have like 15 topics on there, and we're no, still half, half hour, hour in on the first yeah, one. Half hour on the first one. We'll be done in eight hours, By the way, ladies and gentlemen. Alex, your profile is private, so I can't see what uh, yes, you're private. private. <laughs> I can't see I your game. You to look at my profile That's right now, Daniel. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I, well, before we get to the next topic, Jordan, this is a pretty easy guess. What? He already said it. What? He already said. It. I know what it is. Yeah. What? I didn't hear him say it. I didn't hear no. him say it either. So. Did well, you say do you think most people in game. the chat can yes? Or most did played I say game it? for Jordan Matthewson. Actually, no. Now, now I'm torn. Nearly, I was gonna... it's it, it's nearly twice as much or like time wise played than his second most played game. So he's played. No, it, it's more than twice. I mean, it's it's more than two times. So the did I say it, Kevin? In the yeah, second. You said it. Oh, I said it. Okay. Do you remember saying it? Yeah, I I can't remember if I did. I don't. That's remember. I'm asking I don't remember either though. That's. But uh, Kevin also looked at it, so. <laughs> he did say so. Okay, I probably did. Shit, well, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> see, I have two guesses. <laughs> um, I'm going to say Mass Effect. But I feel like it's Mountain Warblade. Okay. <laughs> so here are the times for his Mass Effect and Mountain Blade Warband. I don't even think they add up to this game. <laughs> they, are, they do not. What? <laughs> they both... Exact this exact same amount of hours, 128, 128 hours on both, separately. Jesus, okay. 128 hours Mass Effect. That's his fifth or his yeah his fifth and count. sixth place game. Fifth and sixth place game. <laughs> what the fuck? He has spent 149 hours in Borderlands. That's his fourth. Doing number what? number three. <laughs> Trapville. Oh yeah. Number three. 197 hours in Source Filmmaker. Okay. What? <laughs> Number two, Counter Strike Global Offensive, with okay. 283 hours on record. That's not even, that is less than half of the number one game played, Team Fortress 2, with yep. 648 hours. Really? <laughs> I played a lot of TF2. 648 when I first got hours. It, I got real good at it, too. Wow. <laughs> I pretty, remember buying Team Fortress 2. And then a few months later, my account got hacked, and then I got back banned before I got it back. So I wasn't able to play Team Fortress 2 anymore. That's a darn shame. It's a yep. good game. It's a good game. It is a good game, but it's on back one. Like a, it was a pro player that uh, blamed his friend for the VAC ban. <laughs> Very recently in CSGO. I'm trying to remember who that was. Hey, those anyway. VAC bans are real. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do the uh, Minecraft thing next? Let's go over it real quick. Okay, so Minecraft was banned in Turkey for <laughs> being too violent. <laughs> okay, what? I oh, like that. Makes sense. This, this, <laughs> this article is written very sarcastically. It's pretty good. The blood-drenched world of Minecraft is too much for kids, <laughs> says Turkey Family and Social Policies Ministry. Um, the organization invested the game as a result of its popularity and found that the game encourages children to resort to violence. <laughs> so they say... That uh, pretty much that you, with monsters and stuffing, stuff coming out at yeah. night, they're forcing the player to take shelter or defend themselves. Okay. The ministry, according to the ministry, some children may confuse the real world with the game world and torture animals, presumably <laughs> by hitting them with a stick <laughs> until they turn into plucked chicken or a cut of beef, believe, <laughs> believing that they do not understand that that will cause animals pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's such I cannot believe it's it. It's also suggested that the oh. game could lead to either social isolation when played offline or bullying when played online. Now, <laughs> Turkey, it says Turkey has a history of banning websites, but not of banning games like Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Theft Auto 5 is not banned in that country, but Minecraft is. There's uh, apparently a Turkish fan in the chat right now saying this is a fake is it a fake? This is not true. But then where, where did this come from? I was just going off what these guys said. I don't know. Yeah. I've seen it in several places. Yeah, I've seen it in a, f a few different like sources. Where, like, this is on Techno Buffalo. Techno Buffalo. That's a good it. source right there. Well, I, you know, I had seen a few different places, people saying it. But if there's someone from Turkey saying it's not true, then hey. 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 Huh. That's a better source. Way to say, but either As way, if that is Turkey. true, it's ridiculous. 
Well, some people are saying it is fake. So, well, that's the that's the Turkish person I was talking yeah. about. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not fake. In like, but maybe he he I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure it's not true. <laughs> Ooh, pretty doubt. sure that's that. Uh, that's the some doubt. Seed of in doubt there. has been planted. Okay, we'll, we'll just kind of move on. About this, somebody said this wasn't even on the official topics list. He not, he tweeted about it. Says somebody Ooh. tweeted about it. All right. Well. And Either Bruce, Bruce 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 I'm sh- yeah, I'm, I wouldn't have brought it up if it was just like fucking onion, yeah. like turkey bacon. Yeah, somebody Minecraft, was like, "You like, sure this is an onion?" That no, we know <laughs> it's not. Onion. Anyway, so next topic. Next okay, topic. <laughs> next topic. This is ridiculous. Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. So Pax East Adventures. Actually, you know what? That is a good point. It's, it's too ridiculous for us to even talk about that of how ridiculous it is. Because yep. I could name off like. 70 games that are more violent in every single way than Minecraft, and it still wouldn't, like, solve any issues. So, What other game can you beat an animal with a stick until it turns into a cut of plucked chicken? Or rust. Rust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's rust. true. <laughs> but rust is already controversial. <laughs> Very controversial. Uh, um, that nudity. Rust. Anyway, PAX East Adventures. We just got back from PAX uh, at the beginning of the week. We were out there mm. from, uh, for a few days. And uh, it was fun. We had a lot of fun there as far as like being able to meet a lot of fans, doing an awesome panel that was really great. Yeah. And uh, the signing afterwards. Um, as far as the convention goes, I'd say it was rather lackluster compared to... Which we had said for PAX South as well. <laughs> well, well, PAX South was understandable in the sense yes. that it was the first year and, you know, we were PAX, so much. PAX West will be better. PAX West, we always hope to like, see something. I, really like, I like PAX East. <laughs> but, like, I like it better than PAX West, but I think PAX West will be better just because there's more stuff. I think like and it's a cooler city. Last year, PAX East was like super hype on like different like games Boston. that have all been postponed. Like but um, I think because of like the release dates and stuff coming up, E3 is going to like drop some bombs and then yeah. like PAX West is going to like obviously like showcase those. So yeah. Yeah, PAX East. So it's no, and it's, oh, you know, of course, cool it's games, it's Q Q three. So like Q three, Q four is where they always spend their money, and like, yeah. it's gonna be good. Yep. PAX just needs one year where they can swing like sway a company uh, enough to have them announce a game at PAX, like a major title at PAX, because mm-hmm. then that will make it far more interesting. I doubt that'll happen because everybody waits for E three. That's when the industry is a buzz. That's when articles are going out and all that stuff. But that would be pretty cool. When are we going to PAX Australia? I want to go to Australia. Yeah, I want to go to Australia, too. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever go to the Australian one, it's only going to be a few people because the amount yeah, of people that are going to want to go there, it's uh, going to be not only expensive, but it's a 24-hour flight, and, like, it's kind of crazy. It's the farthest way you could get. It's kind of crazy. Do you so, know if I can be on a plane for that long? Alex, how would you like to be on a plane for 24 for hours? four hours. <laughs> you know, I, that really flight nice back plane. here from Boston was pretty bad just because I was pretty I whipped and I, I couldn't I sleep know. too well. Like, I, well, no, it wasn't bad, like a bad flight. I just yeah. was not comfortable on the flight. No, I was like forcing I was, like, myself to sleep. Like, really yeah, nice I was the same way. I was, yeah, I, I didn't like, really check in. I didn't check in in time, so we were all in middle seats. We got fucked with our seats. None of us sat. Yeah. I, well, Dex was in front of me, I guess, but none of us like sat next to each other. We're just all in between people. Meanwhile, the flight there was, it was nice. I was yeah, sitting the flight next to James. Was pretty good. Did I sit next to like you? Yeah. Yep. yeah. And I f- slept there too, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Got to watch James watch myself. Better Call Saul. <laughs> you were by yourself? Well, in you the were the odd seat. man out, right? It was an odd man. Oh, man. No, I, Kevin had it bad both ways. I had it better coming back. <laughs> Even though it was really humid, I was in the far back, so it was like, I had more leg room because I don't know gotcha. why there's more there more space down. Just like back, a random but, space thing. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. But, but Pax was East was there. Pax East was a good time. Um, I sure think the was. the highlight for me was I got to sit down and play over an hour of Witcher Three because uh, mm-hmm. they had it at the Polaris booth and I got there early one of the days and there was no one in there so I just sat there mm-hmm. and I played Witcher Three and it was absolutely amazing and I cannot wait till it comes out. It's gonna be good. When does that mm-hmm. come out? Uh, I could push back again. April? I think so. Let me double check. Well, I could always... I, I, yeah, you check it really That's the whole point of like this right here. Phone, like, going like this. That was a lot of fun. And then, of course, the, the panel day was absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. We had uh, we set up our panel and did some cool stuff and uh, showed off the Five Nights at Freddy's thing. That was awesome, getting to play that to a live audience. I, I always love like showing our videos to a live audience, even if it's a stupid random blog. We showed the Casa Bonita video there as well. So it's like 
even if the if it's a random stupid video, it's still hilarious to watch mm-hmm. with like an audience laughing along with it or you know whatever. Uh, the the Five Nights at Freddy's skit was like it was playing super loud, so like the jump scare stuff was kind of like it actually got people. <laughs> I don't think like, like watching it on a computer. I, I I don't think it's very jump scary, but in a like kind of theater environment, it is. Uh, Witcher Three is released May nineteenth, twenty fifteen. May now, a couple May, more May, months, May. bud. It was couple originally supposed months. to be February. So. Yeah, I, I'm still. Fine. Yeah. I still forget it's 2015. Well, Arkham Knight was supposed yeah. to come out October 2014. Well, no one cares so. about Arkham Knight. The Division so. was supposed to come out fucking fall of last year. <laughs> hey, heists Spl- were supposed to. Come I always out say this: Splinter well. Cell Conviction was supposed to come out fall 2007. It didn't come out until spring of 20 uh, 2010. Hmm. Jesus. Because they had released That's a, a trailer, right they there. released concept <laughs> art where they had Hobo Sam, but then they took the, the they scrapped the game and took it completely to back to the like drawing board. So, yeah. Hey, well, I had to wait a long time for that. Some serious Sam. That's three years. I'm, this is the only thing I've been stoked for, and like last year I was like so pumped, and this year I just have to sit there and wait. Have Maybe to they'll wait have the whole year. E3 again to present. <laughs> hey, no, 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 I'm saying playable. Maybe who knows? I hope so. Last <laughs> year they had fucking playable like Droid app that they showcased, like, and it was two years ago they announced it. Right? Or was it last? It wasn't last year. No, it was two years ago. Two, two years, years ago. They announced the Ubi- it twice because we went to the Ubisoft event. Yeah. Oh man, that was that was a time weird ago. event. That Ubisoft event. It was kind of yeah. like it's a little cringy. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Cringy. cringy. It was a little cringy. What? I got to uh, compared it to the EA event. I got to play um, well Hardline, which was cool. That's already like coming out on like Monday. I played it last <laughs> night. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, um, but I saw a game that's looked pretty cool. It's it's uh, gigantic. It's called and it's like a lot like Smite. It plays a little bit differently. Different it's objectives. MOBA. Yeah, like MOBA sense, you like capture like the enemies like monsters or something. And then so it's kind of like heroes other. then too, right? Yeah, no, it's like heroes. Because that's like kind of like objective like, based. Like we had sat down and played heroes one of the days. We actually got like a four, it was four man team, wasn't it? Because one of the guys had yeah, to be there. But yeah, we were able to play and because uh, I played a little bit of the alpha when it came out and then the, this one, I don't know if it's beta or whatever, but it was pretty fun. Yeah, beta. And got to really kind of experience being able to go and capture all these random different things. And um, it's pretty cool. I like, how, I like how they're trying to expand on MOBAs a little bit more than just, you know, like this, the standard towers mm-hmm. and whatever. Yeah. It looks kind of smitey, but more cartoony. Yeah, it looked, mm. it looked pretty cool. I wanted to play it. I... Uh, Stood in line for it with some friends that like came out to the convention, and then like the line was really long, and like I I didn't want to miss our other stuff if we had anything, so I was like just trying to speed things up. So I had a media badge, and when you get a media badge, you you flaunt that shit. <laughs> and, like hey, listen, I'm a media, but no, I I tried to get somebody. I'm like hey, is there like you know a different? Can we like is there like a different playroom or something? You just play like faster because I'm part of media, and he's like yeah, let me bring you up to the media room. And it brings me up to this room, and it's, like, it was, like, super awkward. Like, the guy at the desk was, like, yeah, what's up? He's, like, I got these these guys from media here. He's, like, yeah, and? He's, like, they, is, there any, is there any hours? He's, like, what are you asking me right now? He's, like, is there any room for them to play? He's, like, hold on a second. And he, we just sat there for, like, ten minutes while there was other media people going in. They were mm-hmm. setting them up, and they're, like, trying to figure out their situation. He's, like, all right, so what do you want? I'm like, do you have any room? He's like, no, not for today. Maybe come back tomorrow. And I was like, oh. Can I reserve a slot tomorrow? Or Well, yeah, they were like, yeah, we, we have like an opening at 5 tomorrow. We can go back tomorrow. And I was like, okay, uh, probably not going to do that because like, I'm not going to like schedule something on tomorrow if I don't know if I can make it. So I was like, mm-hmm. never mind. He's like, yeah. Uh, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe maybe in an hour you guys can come back. I'm like, I got the – I got stuff to do. And, <laughs> and the guy just, like, screwed me. He, like, pulled us out of line. We were already, like, halfway in it. Mm-hmm. He pulled us out. I was like, yeah, come with me. Yeah. We get there, and he's like, and the other guy's like, no, I can't do anything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, and he never brought us back. He's like, okay, I'll bring you back to your line. He just stood there and was like, sorry, guys. Like, <laughs> so did we get fucked? Like, yeah. we stood yep. in line the whole time, and, like, nothing happened? Okay. Oh, man. So that was well. my experience. Waiting in line simulator <laughs> of PAX. That was about the only thing. I wanted to see some other stuff. I wanted to see, like, Overwatch and play that and... Yeah, Overwatch was there. They had that playable. Uh, I don't know if that was the first time, but uh, uh, <clears throat> should be. 
Oh, well, no, BlizzCon. BlizzCon, right? BlizzCon, yeah. yeah, BlizzCon, yeah I'd right. assume they'd have it at BlizzCon. Yeah. And they have, like, the beta sign up, so I don't know if it's going or not. I don't yeah. think it is, but there's, like, a beta site you can sign up on. So. You know, what was a first for me was seeing a YouTube booth at one of these events. Mm, that was. Yeah. They did have a YouTube, a YouTube booth. booth. That was weird. It was I didn't go to it. I, I didn't end up going over to it. I went to it. There was, there was a few YouTubers there that were just, like, signing stuff or taking mm-hmm. pictures, and they. YouTube. I don't know how that was orchestrated because they had their own booth and they had like YouTubers there. Mm-hmm. But like, like who set that up? Like was YouTube like, Hey, we're going to have a booth. I guess. Let's have like, you know, like KSI and whoever the fuck else we can get just mm-hmm. like show up randomly at different times. Or was it like, like a network like Polaris or Machinima that got in contact with them and they're like, let's work together. We'll give you some people to put up there. And like, it looked mostly like, um, you know the gaming side of YouTube, put it together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, oh, uh, true that. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 true that. Actually, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we we know the guys that run that side, and they're yeah. they're guys that would want to have that kind of stuff. At that a, is true. At events, so I'm sure they threw it out there. They're like, hey, yeah. you know, it'd be a good idea to have this at the event. It's a missed opportunity not having a booth here for. Yep. You know, like Valve. <laughs> now the dog tags at the booth. Oh, the the YouTube the, like dog tags that you get your the, channel on. Ones that require no verification of... Did you get one? No. So you're just... I saw many of them at the signing. Okay. I heard you they t- were... talk about yeah, it. Because I don't know if you were, one. like, talking for it. I don't know if you went and got one. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I, didn't, I didn't want one after I saw all of the... I saw about five PewDiePie ones. <laughs> uh, I saw some of you. Kutra? Yeah. That's yeah, you can, get, you can get a little dog tag that says YouTube.com or YouTube yeah. slash or whatever yeah, so in your just channel. Stealing name my outside. stuff. Interesting. So there were some pretty interesting any, things on those. Any I other? I don't know what the fuck that was. The, the point of that was there was like a thing that's like skip this line dot whatever and you go on it and it's like it asks you for your YouTube name and you just put in the name and it's just like, okay, your your thing will be printed out. So I'm like, what the fuck is the point of that? Like, like, I thought that, like, if I put it out, they could be like, oh, like, this is, like, a verified person. Like, hey, have a free Pepsi or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I free know Pepsi's expect, at the I YouTube like, booth. I just go and there and they're verified like, I'm like, so I did this thing, and they're like, yeah, it's right over there. It's just, like, my tag's just, like, in a pile. I'm like, okay. That would have been like, cool if you could actually go to that booth and get your channel verified, because my channel's not verified. <laughs> you know, all you have to do is link your yeah. Google Plus account. I think I started doing it one time. Yeah, and then and gave up. Yeah. Something. No, no, no. I have linked my Google Plus up. account. What are you talking about? You didn't verify it through your Google Plus account because that's all I had to do when it became verified. Yeah. How about you, Alex? Because you're dumb. verified, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know. What Same I thing? Did. I mean, I think my Google account's linked, I'm pretty sure. My Google account's linked, too, because no, I can tweet not, with, with it. No? Does that mean it's no, not linked? that's not. You need your Google it's Plus. It's Twitter. doesn't mean it's linked. No, I mean, I link it, it. It posts on my Google Plus as well as my Twitter whenever it's I post It's not linked correctly. <laughs> it's linked, but it's not linked correctly. That, that's the way it does it. I, I'm not yeah, sure what's going on. Yours might have bugged out or something. I resisted Google Plus for the longest time. I don't <laughs> that's use probably it. why. They're probably like anyone that resisted this long <laughs> doesn't get verified after they do this. <laughs> my very first post on Google Plus was fuck Google Plus. <laughs> that, that was be, my very that might first be why. post. On a, I, wow, like, okay. I, I don't like when I sign in and have like three freaking profiles I have to click yeah. between. Well, like, what I are the two other ones? What's the point? <laughs> Um, What's the point for is Google there, Plus? Is there any more Pax East stuff that popped up? Uh, any crazy uh, stories? On the way there, you tried to take uh, Pepsi and a knife through security. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> man! If James were here, that would have been the first thing we would have talked <laughs> yeah. about. About that. Yeah, Jordan tried to take a can of Coke. I don't know. No, it was a can of Pepsi. A can of Pepsi, yeah. And uh, <laughs> got from the bottle YouTube opener. Or like a corkscrew or something. Yeah. yeah it was and a apparently you can screw. bring corkscrews, but it had a knife on it or it had like yeah. the little lip yeah. on it, which I don't really remember how in the world they got in my backpack. Because I we like – We planted it in there we I, I mean like – I don't know. We planted it in there. Maybe yep. you did because like how would I be caught with dead with a can of Pepsi? That's a good point. So who knows? Anyway, yeah. They Next got, time I got you're gonna that. have, we're gonna stick Orchest in your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I got Orchest. that stuff confiscated. I, mean, so. I, I brought a weapon through it. It was easy. Alex, yeah, you had like a brass knuckle thing. Yeah, yeah, I brought that through. Oh yeah, yeah. What was it? The face fucker. <laughs> the, the, the face <laughs> fucker. You have it on you. I don't have it on me. Oh, similar, <laughs> similar to the version, the real steel version you stabbed my door with. 
the other day. So yeah, yeah. I, so yeah, it was like this like brass knuckle type thing. But if you look at it, it didn't look like brass knuckles. Oh, well, that's the point of it, though. Yeah, it's a it looks like a weapon. little. It looks like a little uh, not a can opener, but like. What were on the a actual keychain of like it's like a things. Batman keychain is what it looks oh, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It had two like yeah, it had two like ear looking things, but then you could <laughs> slide your fucking knuckles into it and it's yeah. could actually do some damage if you really oh, wanted to. Oh of course, to. Dude, that's the point. It wasn't sharp though. Like it was just like a blunt I mean I think it was sharp enough to like get some penetration if you punch somebody with it. I don't you know can, about you penetration. You cause some holes with that shit. Yeah. yeah. You saw I, I I demoed it out to Jordan the other day. We were <laughs> we were walking like out of the apartment complex at Dex and I punched the wall and it, it made it made some Dings. good penetration marks into <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. I think sure. I started punching the tree too. I tried it out and I was yeah. just like <laughs> And then it was like two o'clock in the morning and the fucking neighbors opened their windows and they see guys out going. It was a dude's <laughs> wall. It was a dude's wall and I was like, Oh shit, he's that's like a bedroom wall, like oh fuck like Jesus. pieced out of there real quick. Oh my but, god. Barton, real easy. Could have, you know, <sighs> fucked up some people sitting, like, around me. Probably could have injured three or four people before I got taken down, you know? I don't know. People defend themselves. How? <laughs> <laughs> Just because How you, you have something on your yourself? fist doesn't mean that people so can't is there defend anything themselves. Else? Well, I'm so saying I'm move saying on. Because we're about an hour I in. I probably could have injured three or four people is what I'm saying, uh, you know? It is just excellent. I could have taken it. Could we move on to okay, five more chair, minutes, and it'll be a half hour per topic. Punch someone uh, there. Here we go. You know, in the front seat, somebody like, what's going on? I'd punch them. Do a couple times, and maybe somebody get like a lucky shot in, and I'd get taken down. So but I'm just saying, Seamus is steam. Listen, I had four hours <laughs> to spend thinking about this. I know what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. So Seamus is steam. What do you think the most played game is, Kevin? Don't look. Mm. Killing four. Jordan. Uh. I'll go. I'll start with the number five, Terraria. I would say. <laughs> I would say that, that hours threw in me up, that threw me off I was going to say Dark Souls, but then I remembered that Seamus played most of his Dark Souls on his Xbox. Yeah. Number four, Dark Souls. Okay. Hmm. 69 hours. Ooh, suggestive. Yeah. Then two might have been more. Oh, wait, no, that was actually number five. <laughs> number four, <laughs> The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, yeah, 74 hours. It's oh, got to be Killing shit. Floor. I think I've topped him on that, I believe. I should have at this point. It's got to be Killing Floor. Payday 2, 87 hours. And I like how he started playing that like two years ago when we were at the house and we did, I think, a stream with that. And then he went, went home and played hardcore and leveled up to like 100 or whatever. <laughs> whatever like the, the cap was. Number two, Left for Dead 2 mm, with 99 hours. Oh, it's totally Killing Floor. Which is only a third of his number one. Killing Floor with half... Of 666 hours, 333 hours. Mm. So, I mean, that would work with Killing Force 666. And, okay. okay, Jordan's going to try. What's going on Let's here? get the remnants here. Are you trying to go in for a uh, buzzer beater? Oh! oh, he knocked it. You did that last yeah, time where yeah, you knocked over the it's trash heavy, can. It's a heavy, you know, that bottle's heavy. It's a, uh, I don't uh. even think, do I have you on here, Kevin? Um, I should be friends with you on Steam. I think you are. Okay, it's so the next but topic. Is it next all? topic? Oh, and by the way, that should be all of them. Crap! Before I move on, I wanted to no, say no, this. No, no, no. Oh, that makes me. Um, I can look you up though. What's so, panel there? will be posted. Uh, it's going to be a little while. Um, Plaris is the ones that filmed it, and they are getting it ready. So, just keep an eye out in the next few weeks, and the panel will be fully viewable. So, don't you guys worry. It's coming out. Oh, yeah, we've gotten a lot of questions about that. Yep, I just wanted to make sure that was uh, addressed. Um, secondly, a lot of people are asking, I can make this one a quick one since we're trying to move through here now that we're an hour in already. The website launch. We said that we were going to launch it <laughs> last website week. Launch. Um, and there was actually, just before we were about to launch it, I ma- what are you doing, by the way? What do you mean? You're hurting Carl. So anyway, I uh, there I ran into I a couple Carl. little issues that I found on there that needed to be fixed. So the website team has been fixing that and is ready to launch and will be launched this week for sure. This week for sure. This week for sure. So Fantastic. it will be coming out. I actually it actually was good because it bought me a little bit more time. I've been getting some mods together from the community and uh, the more time they have to get used to the whole setup and everything is the the best. So I think actually a couple of the Twitch mods are uh, are going to be modding for us as well. So Fantastic. that's pretty good. That's going to be pretty good. Mm-hmm. So stay tuned for that. There will be plenty of stuff around that. Um, GTA Heists. 
Another topic I can't talk about. El Gisto. GTA Heist. I'm, I'm holding out for the PC about, version. We can't yeah. talk about it much either. Yeah, the funny thing is, yeah, we can't talk about it much either. We, we tried to play <sighs> it the other day, and uh, due to, you know, the beautiful, um, you know, publisher, I don't, I don't even know what to call it, um, publisher launch syndrome, where they, you know, don't prepare their servers for mm. the amount of traffic they're inevitably going to get. Yeah. And I think just, they prepare for uh, how much they'll keep. So like that could how, hit us. How one. much uh, people are going to keep playing it later, and not just the people that play it on launch? Because well, he's, talk, he's talking about stuff. the launch thing, though. Talking about like the servers, huh? Talking about their servers. What about the servers? I'm saying, yeah, I'm talking about their servers too. Yeah, and I'm 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 referring to this like add-on as a like a launch in itself because that's kind of what it is. Yeah, you know, it crashes servers. It's an X pack in a way, right? The what? relaunch of a, of a game, essentially. Yeah, true. What was I gonna All say? Right. Anyway, go on. I was gonna say something. Nice. All okay, right. we'll just wait for you, Dan. Yeah, let's uh, think about it for a second. Kevin was talking about that, but I was gonna go off of what you said. Uh, publisher okay. launch syndrome. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen with our website, where it's like we know a lot of people are gonna go to the website and let's. Hope hey, no, I've I've it. prepared as much as I know we can prepare. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's that's like me trying to be prepared for it. Whereas these guys are just like, oh, I doubt that many people are gonna go are gonna buy our game. Let's just get the minimal servers we can. Um, you know, let's not beef up our servers just for this weekend, just in case. You think to that's how they the think, influx. Jordan? That sounds pretty no, condescending. Because they, they think. <laughs> How much money is this going to bring us? How much money? And Rockstar then they knows it. they print money. Yeah. So so yeah, the heist barely got to like it couldn't really get into matches together and just kind of a disaster. I didn't even try because I still can't log on to my uh, account. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still have your like. Rockstar still will not let me play their game. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, blacklisted you. Yeah. For that time, you guys went out of the map. Uh, oh, oh yeah. I didn't even know about time. that. That sounds yeah, they, scandalous. That was they, a good time. They used some exploits. Mm. <laughs> anyway. That's some exploits. Um, they have hardline. But, uh, yeah, so GTA heist. Hopefully they're supposedly fixed now. So maybe soon supposedly. we'll be able to get into these big heists and, you know, try them out. But it's kind of interesting. From what we experienced, me and James did the uh, – there's like an intro heist that's only a two-player one. Mm -hmm. So um, me and James went in there and we did it. There's a setup phase where you pretty much just drive back and forth across um, whatever, the Los Santos, and, like, pick up a car – go back, drop the car off, go over, pick something else up, go back, drop it off. So it's like a setup phase like that. And then it goes into the actual heist phase where you drive once again all the way to your destination, um, do the heist portion. In this case, it's just a small bank. So there's like one teller and one person inside. So I just like intimidate. I shot out the cameras, intimidated, and James went through, drilled the vault and grabbed whatever. And then we both ran out to the car. We were getting shot at, drove away. Um, it was actually kind of cool because we drove – you drove up to this bridge and a helicopter comes down with a big magnetic thing and picks your car up <laughs> and flies you away for the end of the heist. That was kind of cool. But uh, as far as so far, it just seems like a bunch of driving. And then there was one instance where we got into that uh, to get that prison truck or that prison bus or something. And it was so just <laughs> it's just disastrous, like trying to trying to drive to get this prison bus. You had to drive, you know, halfway across the entire island, and then the bus was just, like, going along. <laughs> and we shot a few people and jumped in, and it didn't go that smooth at all. But, you know. It doesn't sound like it. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see what happens with the other heists. Yeah. If we ever get into them. So that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> so that's pretty they cool. They sound a lot like the campaign ones, where it's, like, the yeah. actual heist portion is very brief. Yeah. And it's mostly escaping. Yeah, it's mostly just setting up and escaping, which is definitely true. It's all, it's pretty much just the, the things, but you get to have different roles being played. So it's but not I'm, just you doing one role. It's, you know. Isn't like a month from now there's supposed to be the PC release as well as more heists? And we'll see if that so, happens. Okay. It's going to get delayed is, again. Is there a big bank in that one? Like there's a large. I don't know. One I don't large know the names of them. That, uh, I know James and I don't know if you were there when mm -hmm. we glitched inside of it. We didn't glitch we, inside of it, I don't think. 
We glitched inside of a huge building. Uh, it was, it was, no, you, oh, yeah, because like you guys big. were doing that stupid <clears throat> shit where you would, like, start a mission, yeah. but then leave it, and you'd be inside the building for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I w- that was on the banks. Hmm. Okay, BF Hardline. Battlefield. Battlefield Hardline. Hardline. So Alex had played it at PAX. I think Dan did, too. I played. Kevin he played, too. All he's three asked of you guys. me about four times. <sighs> you played Battlefield at, at... I was just making sure, okay? I'm not going to just was, go off. I was with him. It was just me and him. I was in the middle of talking to somebody <laughs> the entire he, time. He was. He stood out for one of them. Then, if you guys, did you guys play together once? No, no, no. no. it was just me playing. It was he me was talking standing, to somebody he while aside. he was. He was. Yeah, playing. He was standing behind me, and I was standing behind him at and one there was point. Spencer, James, me, and then I guess you. No, you guys Jared. went off and played Fable. No. I played Battlefield. We played, played Hardline, Fable though. with. No, 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 uh, no. I wasn't there for that. Oh, I okay. played Spencer. it the day before. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. That's when we were there separately. But like the other guys went and played Fable. I played Battlefield, and Jordan just stood around and talked to the the Microsoft people. Okay. So, but like they asked him about twenty times while I was standing waiting to play it. They asked Jordan, "So you want to play too? So you want to play too?" I don't. Th- that's why I like you have to confirm in your brain that I played was weird to me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, uh, it sounds about all right. <laughs> but it was pretty good. But I had played. Let's see. I had played beta. I, I had actually played Alpha, like, around D3, but that was more so just me oh, driving yeah, around on that. a police, like, motorcycle and running into things. Um, the building. And I played Beta for a bit, did some of the missions. But then this one, the, on the launch, the biggest thing that I kind of found pretty cool was the rescue setup that they had, which was basically the Counter-Strike <laughs> style. Bless you. Thank yeah, you. it's like a hostage situation, like Counter-Strike style, where one side and it's, you know, permadeath, whatever, you know, in, um, you got one mm-hmm. life. 5v5, smaller maps. So it was a quick round. It was pretty quick rounds, and it's best out of nine, I believe. Yeah. So, and that's, I think, that's whatever all these guys played as well at PAX. Yeah. And uh, it was pretty good. The zip lines are still my favorite part. Nope, went away. (laughs) 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 I stick over and you're like, trying to sneeze. I had to sneeze. (sighs) I had to sneeze, but yeah, went away. Anyway. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What do you think, Alex? Pretty good. It was fun. Um, people are <clears> gonna <throat> say that like it's a that particular part is like a Counter Strike rip, or you know, whatever payday rip, whatever they want to say. Um, Reskin. But for, for Battlefield, like I, I played Battlefield Four and stuff, and I've enjoyed some of the mechanics of it. I can't get into the whole like open huge world of it. Like I can't get into that. But for the, what that was, that was pretty fun. So. Yeah, my favorite maps in Bad Company 2, because um, I played a lot of Bad Company 2, were always the straightaway rush ones. Mm-hmm. So they weren't huge. They were just long. and like they were, So it was like a decently sized area that you could get around people. You could make choke points if you really knew what you were doing. And like it would just contain a lot of like, you know, going that way compared to like you know just four different objectives all over the place right. getting sniped from every angle you just had to kind of focus in front of you right and that really helped out and there hasn't been a lot of that since which kind of sucks like that was yeah, i was playing one map on battlefield 4 where they had like a, <clears throat> they introduced a rail gun and it's like it's a one shot kill from any distance like you just zoom in and if you see someone and they're like lined up they're dead <laughs> what? I was like, what the fuck? What? Reminded me of like Daisy. Daisy had like a I, one of the servers had like well, a few servers had mods. Oh, like that. I remember that one. So I was like, what the fuck? Like I don't know. Uh, the whole the whole like the vehicles and stuff I think are really cool. I just when I get into I can drive a helicopter and that's about it. If I get into a jet, I fuck up. I yeah, get into a tank, yeah, I fuck same. up. So I usually we used to be pretty good with tanks. Um, tanks were like my strong suit. Uh, I kind of like I was okay with helicopters on the Xbox version. I couldn't fly like mouse and keyboard with it very well. Uh, and then yeah, I guess they just had a, they have a whole bunch of smaller like they have a few of the like crazy SUVs with the you know like Gatling guns that come mm. off the top and stuff mm. like that. Now Battlefield twenty one forty two. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't think I ever played that one. See, oh, he's yeah. he's a nineteen forty three. I'm a big nineteen forty three. I was big in that I game. Too. I played a lot of that game. But oh, I, two, that was one of my two favorite and three games. I played a lot of. What bad company too? Oh, just Battlefield. Oh, just Battlefield two. Okay. Battlefield two and three. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It should be fun. People are gonna have fun with it. I think. Uh, I like the fact that it's just that type of layout where it's like cops versus robbers type of thing where. Like, I feel like 
when I play some of the battlefield stuff, it, it seems almost like super, like militarized, which is what it is. But like this kind of feel is pretty cool because it's like you know you have like the close quarter combat, you have like the different like tools where like a grappling hook where you try to get it on the roof yeah. to get a better angle. Like, like tasers those things are pretty stuff. nice or cool. So. I, I thought, like, originally when they were first coming out with Hardline, it felt like, and a lot of people noticed this, that it was a lot like, because, um, like, when you go to play a heist game, you see Payday, and, like, Payday's full-on heist, mm -hmm. whereas this seemed to be trying to do that at first, and it was just, like, you know, like, reskinned capture points were just cash bags and stuff like that now, but now they've more so turned it into, like, just cops and robbers, the mm -hmm. game. Like, there are heists in there. Apart. Yeah, there, I don't know if it was for that or if that was their just original intention and it just came off as a kind of a weird launch. But, like, they have the heists. They have the rescue missions for, like, hostages. They have just overall conquest and, like, the regular game modes. So it really turns it into just cops and robbers comparative to heists only. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Speaking and of... And I want to say... Oh. Damn it. I want to okay, say <laughs> I just messed up Dan's transition. But <laughs> I want to say there was a, so that I went I did a rescue mission in um in the valley. So like it was a meth like lab that was like trying to defend. I want to say they had Gus voice acting for the like Overwatch guy that was talking. John Carlo Yeah, Esposito? It really sounded like him. I don't know if he has anything to do with like the like I know he was in Breaking Bad up. I had no idea what his role was though. So but it sounded just like him. Can you look it up? What? Can you look it oh, up? Oh, if that was him? Yeah. <laughs> Have they announced know. like the voice cast or anything? I want to know. John. Uh, it should be an IMDb. Carlo. Mm, the games are kind games of are, floppy. Yeah, they're, they're flippity, but. Uh, battle. They're like flippity and they're floppy. Field. Hard line. Um, no, nah, it's just popping up in like Payday Big Bank. Yeah. Do you want me to check his IMDb specifically? Maybe you want to really quick. But yeah, so far, so far, like I played, you know, a few, few of the rescue missions and a few of the uh, uh, heist missions, which are kind of cool, but rather chaotic when you have a thirty-person team, like two thirty-person teams on there. So it's like sixty players at this bank, and they're just all swarming in and stuff. I don't think anyone, would, I don't think anyone would rob a bank like that, to be honest. No, no, not really. <laughs> but you know, thirty guys <laughs> with guns <laughs> running. Yeah. It's, Nobody it's knows else. what they're doing. <laughs> it's not on there currently. Unless he's playing himself on it. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Well, speaking of payday, that's what I was going to say before. <laughs> speaking of payday, we're at James's top five mm -hmm. and top played game on payday. Can anybody guess his top played game on payday? While you guys are figuring that on out, I'll start to it down. On payday? Uh, not payday. On <laughs> Steam. Speaking payday of payday. Like eight times is it in a row. On payday. It payday. No, no, no. It's payday. <laughs> <laughs> but payday 2 is his number five. Top game. Okay. 49 it's hours in payday top. 2. He plays He plays games underground, though, and doesn't tell anyone about them, yeah. too. That's so true. That That's true, Jordan. <sighs> I want to say, like, Super Meat Boy is up there, but... It's got to be Gmod. Super like, Meat Boy isn't know. even in his top ten. Really? I would say that in, in his top oh, ten... Oh, maybe he played on Xbox... Probably. I don't think he spends a lot of time in Gmod though. <clears throat> he he's do, he's he there occasionally. Like random shit. Like Number like four is Killing Floor with fifty hours. Okay. I was trying to think of any game that he's like sat there and played a lot of. But on Steam, yeah, like I just can't think. I want to say DayZ. Number three and two are tied for a second, essentially. The way it works out. Uh, Number three, Counter Strike Global Offensive with 62 hours. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how'd that happen already? <laughs> Which is tied with Payday the Heist oh, for 62 hours. Payday. Number two. Now, number one. Payday two. The Payday was two was number five. five. <laughs> <laughs> Gmod. Um, well, I guess Jordan says Gmod. Yeah, it's, yeah, definitely Gmod. He's, he's got over hours on it, probably. He's going to say DayZ? It's Gary's mod with 150 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. That that was was 50 than hours. Thought, actually, as soon as you hear those other ones, that only like 60 hours. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. see, I want to when when we when we do Kevin's, I want him to not look and I want him to guess what. <laughs> or he probably not. knows. I already know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, knows. then I'll have you two guess. Because I've looked at that and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> how do? How did? I think you it's probably Gary's have mod. invested the most time in on <sighs> Steam. He said his Steam. too. It's Gary's mod. Huh? He said his too earlier. I know, but we'll we'll. Guess hours and stuff like that. He said, "You want to just do it right even, now?" He All right, said the hours too. Steams. No, he said like a thousand hours. He wasn't right. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> okay, let's let's do let's do Kevin's top five. All right, Kevin's top five. Number five, Terraria. Dark Souls two, with eighty six hours. Terraria is in the top five. Do you want to guess what? the placement? It's not number five, so it's top four. Three. I'd say three. Jordan's correct. Yeah, I, I was gonna guess three. Terraria is right. my no, top three. Number four. Three. It seems that's surprising. Terraria is on people's top five list. I didn't play four. Terraria. How many, how many so right, on. How many hours is the Dark Souls two? Dark 86. Souls two was eighty six hours. Did you even play Dark Souls? Yeah, I streamed it for like a month straight. Okay, so is that his four? That's his number five. That's his five. Number He's four. Dark Souls two. Yeah, Dark Souls, you Dark Souls two. Oh, did I play Dark Souls? Oh. Uh, I. It's not, bit, oh, it, it's in his anyways. top ten. His number eight is Dark Souls okay. with 53 hours. Is Team Fortress 2 in there somewhere? I got banned from that game. Team uh, Fortress 2 <laughs> is number four. Oh! Okay. With 92 hours four. on record. What? Number two, and Gary's mod is number one. That is true. So yep. Counter-Strike yeah. Global Offensive, 439 hours. Wow. And Gary's mod, 971 hours on record. Nice. Now, if nice. we would have checked at the right time, I had a glitch on my Steam account not too long ago where it clocked me in at Metro Last Light for over 1.9 million hours. <laughs> I don't know why it did that or how, but I had a lot of time clocked on Metro. You should have taken the screen cap. I like, did. Yep, I tweeted it out at oh, one okay. point. So, if yeah, I wouldn't go looking oh, for man. it. But. <laughs> It was pretty good. So, um, yeah, Battlefield Hardline, those, you know, pretty decent. Uh, I'm trying to make pretty... my profile on private <laughs> so I can look it up. Yeah. Uh, so, Without one your profile. million subscribers. We hit one million subscribers on the Creature Hub a few days ago. When was it? Days it was ago. two days ago. Two uh, days ago. It was uh, the 12th. Two days ago, one millo. One million subscribers. It's hard to believe. One hundred million subscribers. No, Kevin, not hundred million. You know what? Just one million. It was amazing. Uh, Joe ran into my office doing the one in a mill segment where he's like, "Dan, Dan, we hit one million subscribers. How does that make you feel?" And I was like, "Well, I mean, this is amazing. I mean, I didn't think when we started this. Hey, Joe, what do you think?" And then you got to have your speech at the end, but I never actually got to say what I thought <laughs> oh, about oh the, the, the million on the hub. No, oh wait, he spun around and said, "Hey, Jordan, what do you think?" You just no, said, he went to Joe. Like Joe did something. Oh, okay. And then, so okay. artist <laughs> Joe was on there for a second, and then I think Kevin came around. <laughs> Joe, you should feel ashamed. I came during this. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I I was guilting. I think it was Joe and Spencer when I was in there. I was like, I said the exact same thing. He was like, you know, I started saying like how <laughs> awesome it was. He's lucky he's saying sorry, Dan. Lol. <laughs> oh, you better feel yeah, bad, Dan. I mean, good. Joe. <sighs> better feel uh, bad. Dan, I'm, I'm, if, I ever, if I was any kind <laughs> of good boss, I would have reprimanded him immediately. What? Are you my friend? Yeah. That's how I knew your thing was privated. I didn't know which one you were on my friends list, but then I was like, oh, wait. Because you had changed. Anyway, how about you continue your speech? <sighs> well, you know, I didn't sorry, think. I Joe on him. Uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't think this day would come, honestly. Well, I know. No. It's just, it's it's really cool. It's really amazing because I really like what we do and how community oriented it is. And the fact that there are mil a million people subscribed to us on YouTube is insane. I was saying the other day we we're at almost 300 million views on YouTube. That's even more mind blowing. But I remember when I, I hit like, I think it was like 20,000 subscribers, and my sister Kelly was like, you know that's like a stadium full of people. A if you small had stadium. A small stadium. If you have like, you know, a stadium, like just, just imagining it. So imagining a million people is like even more unfathomable. And I always kind Four of think. stadiums. <laughs> that's, that's, like, <laughs> that's like super. Uh, that's a, like Catalyst. A couple Super Bowl stadiums. I don't think that's like Cat. That's, that's like the. Uh, what? All the viewers on Catalyst. Yeah, but it's, we're talking about viewers in comparison. You need to put current, yeah, we're talking we're talking about a physical thing. Like one thing we're talking about a physical no, thing. TV had like seven hundred. The country we're about a physical thing. of Ireland. What's their population? The population of Ireland. I looked up the like, population of Turkey earlier. It's seventy five million. Just go TV um, though. Like go TV seven hundred thousand. Twitch five hundred thousand. Four point five million people in Ireland, <laughs> Jordan's. <laughs> well, that's not close. Um, what's a smaller country? <laughs> Uh, Venezuela. Venezuela. Okay. But we've had. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty awesome, though. It's pretty <laughs> darn cool that we made that. <laughs> what are you doing? There's a place called Venezuela, Utah. It's 30, 30 million. We were going up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Go back. Go Hold back. On. Okay. Haiti. Haiti. Oh. Haiti. Haiti's Population. pretty small. 10, 10 million. We're still. Oh, we're still what high. in the world? Uh, uh, it's just extremely impoverished there. Georgia, Madagascar. Asia. Uh, Georgia. Georgia, Asia. Uh, Georgia's pretty big, though. Georgia is pretty big. 
Uh, oh, well, it's doing Georgia. Georgia. Wales. Wales might be a good one. But Wales is part of the UK. Like, <laughs> uh, it's not saying. What nor- not Northern Ireland? Ireland? Almost five million. So actually, you're you're close to Ireland numbers <laughs> what there. What about Madagascar? You know, <laughs> Madagascar. <laughs> I I I had some customers come through who had Russian accents, and and I was like, oh, you from Russia? He's like. Uh, no, the no, Republic of Georgia, former Soviet Union. And <laughs> it's just like oh. okay, Madagascar is 22 million. Oh, my. And that's what not even f- counting the lemurs. Um, what about New Zealand? Oh, New Zealand is uh, pretty like. That's good. The New Zealand's huge. It, it doesn't matter if it's huge. I'm going for population I'm density. There's a lot of Are you looking there. for the density of like hey. a country? Smaller than Ireland. 4.4 really? 4 million. Oh. 4.5 million was Ireland. We're uh, getting close. What about Hawaii? <laughs> Somebody said Canada. What kind of. <laughs> 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 Luxembourg, Germany. The well, place Luxembourg is, no, we're, is we're trying to go for that countries. Is, yeah, it's more, oh, Jordan! Hawaii is 1.4 million. That's the closest oh, we're going to oh. get. Just imagine most of Hawaii Luxembourg. being... Luxembourg. Antarctica. Luxembourg. Luxembourg? Yeah. Luxembourg is a... Fu- Antarctica. Like I'm, look, I'm going with you, Alex. I'm putting all my chips on you. <laughs> it's not telling me a population. Yeah, because no one lives no, there. Wait, 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 wait. But anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 people reside throughout the year at research stations. Oh, that doesn't... Continent. Continent. So, I mean, I mean, that doesn't really help Luxembourg. us <laughs> And Antarctica is also one of the biggest, like, Luxembourg. fucking, like, land masses. What, is, is, Lu- Luxembourg. is that a country? Yeah. Luxembourg. I thought it's that was a... country. Huh? It's not a country. It's a city. It's a city state. City. Oh, it's or considered city. a city. It's also city. Uh, city. it's it's half a million in twenty thirteen. They they got a population growth going on there. Oh it's God. pretty impressive. In nineteen sixty, they miles. only had about three hundred thousand people. Germany, nineteen forty three. Germany, what? you're going back to <laughs> like the war era to do- <laughs> because a lot of people evacuated. Yes, <laughs> I am aware what happened in nineteen forty three. Yeah. In in thirty nine, it was. 80 million. Mm. Okay, we're not even close. I don't... Uh, but that was before, like... The it war. says 43, 11.2 plus million. I don't know what that is saying, though. That was in the... You're saying Luxembourg is We're a country. Ster- a city country. I don't know. City country. <laughs> yeah, it's not Lux- a city state. It's a city country. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. But I thought it was Luxembourg. A million Germany. subscribers. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, I guess really we is. failed on the countryside. I was <laughs> trying to find somewhere. Hawaii, though. <laughs> Close enough to be <laughs> kind of Hawaii. <laughs> if you take one fifth of Hawaii out, if you it's just kind of knock have. off Maui completely, then <laughs> yeah, that word we're as big as Hawaii. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure there's an island out there somewhere with like a thousand people. On we it. had our uh, we had our one in a mill shirts that we sold. How many? Three thousand four hundred. Thirty-three hundred. So. Pretty darn good. That's how amazing. many did we get? Exclusive. How many did we get? How many like we 12? got like yeah, we didn't get too many of them. Okay. Just I mean, we could always have it printed up, I'm sure, and if we needed more, but okay. that's a that's a that's a like exclusive shirt that I'm proud of owning, even though I didn't pay for it, but I own it, and now thirty-three hundred fans own it. Yep. <laughs> and we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you were just staring at me and not doing anything, but now I know. Bless you, Alex. The master, because oh Alex was just sitting there like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, he's not really reacting much. Usually, at least gives me a nod or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> something was going on. Uh, Little did I know it was brewing. So, with there. a million subscribers, we do have something in the works that hopefully will get done in the next few weeks here. Um, and it's you know we we got a lot of requests for a certain thing, and we're we're really wanting to expand on that to be something more than that. So, we have something planned. It's not coming out right away, but it will be going. I don't even on. know what it is. Yes, you do. <laughs> you do. You just don't know what we're talking. I was just about. trying to about? refer to it as, as loosely as possible, so it's not spoiled. Loosely. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Loosely. What? <laughs> Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> We're doing a. I know what you guys are talking a, about. A Lucy and Xavier series <laughs> on the hub very soon. Hey, you're demonstrating what you were talking about earlier about how if you did that, you could still be heard on the microphone. That's pretty funny. <laughs> no, seriously, when is this fucking podcast over? <laughs> Dan, I don't know what the fuck's going on either. Listen here. Alex. I don't even know what the plan is for a million subs. Alex, you know, you just don't know, you know. You know, that's the Do you best, know Kevin? The best person I don't know. Conceived. Kevin doesn't know. I don't know. And that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thank you so much, everyone, for a million subscribers. Here's to a million more if I still have my beer. Alex's beer is go. Oh, I can throw another one. Here we go. 
you finish that off? There's a little bit in there. Oh I don't God. want it like going all over my hand. Blue moon. Okay, here we go. This is its 20th anniversary, by the way. Ah, today. And for the buzzer beater, <coughs> oh, oh. broke it against the oh. light. Oh, damn. That light was shaking a little bit. Oh shit. Well, here's to a thousand it. more. And uh, I think we already got a thousand more than a million. <laughs> here's to a thousand more. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking small scale, right? That's true. Hey, you don't if know we if have we a would milestone get a thousand every more. one thousand. Twenty five more <laughs> by the end of tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if we have a thousand I don't know. If we have a milestone celebration every thousand. We can have Anyway, on to the next topic. Uh <laughs> you keep so, up? like we keep up we have to do have a celebration every day. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? Right oh. You don't have to grab oh. it. You could have waited until You're after. <laughs> <laughs> Almost breaks. What the fuck is going on? Could you leave day? the one by the door? Yeah, mine's by the door. What yeah, are you talking about? Oh, I didn't goodness. throw that. Scrub. That was Alex's. Scrub, but I threw it. I was responsible <sighs> yeah, for it. Yeah, would so, I have to go get it if he threw it? Of course. That seems like that's he pretty. Took, he that's took, pretty BM. Yeah, he took ownership of it, the bottle. Like as soon as point. I touched it, I committed to throwing it over there. That's my. That's my bottle. So I technically have two beer bottles in that trash right there. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, right. so I, I saw some uh, rather trending news the other day. I saw it on Twitter. Whenever I see, like, someone's name that I know trending on Twitter, I know it's like, oh, no, hopefully they're they're either dead or something's happened. What? Um, so I was hoping. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we get on to that, because I want to point out something terrible you did to me, Jordan. <laughs> so Harrison Ford got in a plane accident. <laughs> in a plane accident. And we found out about it, and we're like, oh, man, that sucks. Hopefully, like, <laughs> it, he might, but, it, you know, we found out he wasn't in critical care later. He was recovering, and he was, like, a little beat up, but whatever. So the next day, I'm like, I, my, I'm at peace with this. I'm like, okay, Harrison Ford, he's fine. His son tweeted, he's fine. Okay, whoo, that was scary. <laughs> Jordan tells me after we, I wake up, I, I either got out of the shower or whatever, I'm sitting at the computer at the laptop, and he's like, Dan. I'm like, what? He's like, Harrison Ford passed away. I was like, no! I was like, legitimately sad. Like after he's the one who told me Leonard ne Nimoy died the other day, and <laughs> I, I fucking teared up at my desk. I teared up at my desk about Leonard Nimoy dying, <laughs> and he's sitting here telling me Harrison Ford died. I'm like, no, how'd that happen? So I Google it, and his name is at the top of the news, of course, because the the, the day before. And I'm like, oh no! And then I pull it up, and it's like, it's still the same shit I read yesterday. And I'm like, Jordan. And he's like, no, I was just kidding. I'm like, what? Why would you joke about something like that? <laughs> oh my god. I'm hey, sorry. Hey, I had to get oh that my off god. my chest. It's funny. It's fucked up. It's funny. It was oh. fucked up. And now it's funny, but <laughs> why would you oh, do man. that, Jordan? Oh, You're a sick man. person. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good right there. <laughs> sorry, I forgot about that, but that was pretty funny. I had a chuckle. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um so yeah, so I saw this person's <sighs> name and I was like, oh no. He either died or he got in a car crash or something. Um, but yeah, I saw so I saw Jeremy Clarkson trending. And I was worried because yeah, in his line of work, you know, he could get in car crashes, he could die, you know, it's it's not super high risk, but there is that chance something happens and it's not good. So I looked it up and apparently BBC suspended Jeremy Clarkson and are refusing to air the the most the, the newest top gear. And supposedly like uh, with the latest reports they're canceling top gear. That's a big series and to cancel. I don't know. Like, yeah. So, like, and apparently, so so before we go on, Jeremy Clarkson apparently was uh, gotten a fracas with a producer. Quote, over, unquote. Quote, unquote, fracas. Um, I've heard reports that he hit the producer, that uh, that it was because there was, the, like, it, and I can see it. Like, I, I see Jeremy Clarkson as someone that probably isn't the nicest guy in person. He's probably a little, because he has that. One of those articles cited a couple times in the past that he said he's derogatory had, things. He's had a few slip-ups in the past. Um, but that, yeah, so that having him like seeing that he's done that, I was like, yeah, that's probably something Jeremy Clarkson would do. Um, yeah. So I wasn't surprised, but it kind of sucks that he got suspended. I doubt that they're canceling it. I've seen like several reports, and they're probably not true. But um, th there, there could be this thing where Jeremy Clarkson is no longer a part of Top Gear, though, um, mm. which would be really weird. And uh, yeah. So I was pretty upset. But yeah, like like I said, I can see Jeremy Clarkson being that guy, that celebrity that's a little bit more um, 
mean to <laughs> people under him kind of thing. So it's not surprising. But he's a funny guy on camera, so yeah. Hopefully I, I hopefully that all sorts out because that would really suck if Top Gear went away <clears throat> or was missing Jeremy Clarkson. Have you ever seen the uh the documentary uh Love the Beast, Jordan? No. It was it was uh, with um the actor Eric Bana, the guy who played the Hulk in the first Hulk movie yeah, yeah. and such. Like apparently he's a big card nut and that has Jeremy Clarkson and Jay Leno and stuff like that. In it. Yeah, I know Jay Leno's a big a, anti car nut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's a really it's a really good documentary. It has Jeremy Clarkson in it. It's pretty good. It's it's just talking about the kind of the idea of falling in not necessarily falling in love in like a sexual way or anything, but like, you know, loving a car in kind of a almost forming a strange a, forming way. An attachment yeah, like it. a bond to yeah. it. And like what is that? And it's it's really it's really interesting. Cause uh I think it was Eric Bannis had the same car for the last like thirty years. Like after he <laughs> saw because he's Australian and after he saw uh what was the first Mad Max movie? He like loved the car that he drove, and he g- ended up getting one of those, and has kind of been fixing it over the years. And he's he races as well, so it's pretty interesting. Oh. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Good yeah, Jamie Claxon. Jamie Claxon. Jamie Claxon. Uh, so another thing that happened, um, there was announced that ODST is finally getting added to the Master Chief collection. Why Master <laughs> Chief's not in it? Any and numbers? next topic. <laughs> But it's called the Master Chief Collection, not the Halo Collection. I just read about it, actually. Doing it <laughs> is there is Reach getting added soon? I don't know. It's <laughs> in the universe, though. They're doing this as a sorry to really? fans, yeah, oh to fans my for their launch. But they're also not adding oh. the Firefight, so it's just the raw campaign. What? Oh, well, what's the point of that? Wait, Firefight what? was the Firefight best was thing about was it. the only good thing about it. doing it in 60 FPS, which is okay. <sighs> I mean, I guess. I mean, it's free content. They're not charging, are they? No, it's free. Okay, I was gonna say, like that's because their I, servers were terrible. bad. For like, I, 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 I'll be honest. I enjoyed the, you know, the campaign somewhat. Like, oh, ODST. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I went through it and I, I, I enjoyed the music and sometimes it just felt relaxing playing through it and running around. It wasn't anything like just amazing and mind blowing, but it was enough that I could sit down. And like, oh, yeah, this is kind of nice. I never beat it. I got kind of like I just got bored with it. Because it was so much like not it's being not, OP no, Master Chief. <laughs> no like memorable parts besides the beginning and the end. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. Everything else in the middle is just kind of like. Oh, My little sister played through it and explained it. And I was like, oh, that sounds like an interesting like concept. Like of, in the story, how it plugs in and stuff like that. But it was just to me wasn't. Eh. It's like uh, you don't have a shield. I don't know. We talk about ODST a lot, and we shit on ODST a lot. <laughs> so to say that this is a uh, sorry to fans, this is like, <laughs> like insult to injury. <laughs> then they're going to put on Reach as a sorry about adding ODST to it, and then like, oh, yeah, we just, we just, <laughs> something we but didn't. Talk- the thing is, it's it's three four three that's doing this. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Three four three is the ones that like let's uh, add ODST to this for free, boys. And it's like, yeah, great idea, but man, that. That fucking – I don't even – like I kind of want to check it out just for the 60 frames, but then like I think back the to Xbox some of the missions one. and I'm just like – It's definitely not something fuck, I would play through again. Like, <laughs> like those like that ship mission and just like the running around like the fucking random elites would like destroy your ass. And like, yeah, and then the good old-fashioned engineers. Uh, yep. Mm. Engineers, I hated those things more than engineers. anything. That yeah. was the worst thing that I've ever experienced. Yep. In that Halo was pretty game. bad. Somebody had mentioned in the chat, uh, Halo Five Guardians multiplayer was at PAX, and yes, we actually was, we yeah. played it, and we didn't talk about it. But I, I, yeah, I, I, I played, I played the beta a good bit. I got, I got pretty used. Oh to the beta. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, then these guys all played it at PAX too. I, so. I'm sorry, Spencer and I traded off. <laughs> I sucked. He didn't do too well either. So it was just like we were just. <laughs> I would have been there. I would have carried you all. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, you weren't there. Okay, so it was just like me, James. Were you there, Alex? No. Who? I thought we Dex. had like a full thing. Dex. Anyway. It teams of four, so. No, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty <clears throat> interesting. So, yeah, we'll see what happens when ODST is added. I don't think there's anything that could go wrong with that, but, hey, you never know. Nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> Nothing could go wrong with ODST. <laughs> Nothing could go wrong with adding it uh-huh. that we know of. True. Um, hey, before we move on to that one, we only have two more people to go through their thing. Dex. I, I'm going to end with Alex's now currently unprivated account. Uh, so go leave comments on his profile. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Dex, uh, he's not a big PC gamer. No. no. But this is going to be a tough one. It is going to be tough. I mean, uh, 
I don't know. I've heard him talk about this game a lot. So he's number one. Awesome knots. Number one. Uh, I'm going to give you the top six because he's not a prevalent. Awesome uh, knots. Jordan's guessing awesome knots. You got to guess? Um, I want to say Payday, CSGO, and Gary's Mod are somewhere in that. Okay. In the top six? I want to say Gary's Mod's at the top. <coughs> okay. One. Number six, Guns of Icarus with 12 hours on record. That's number six. Okay. 12 hours. <laughs> Um, Gary's mod is number five. PC peasant. I mean, with, sorry, console peasant. Well, it's it's impressive because his number six is very low time wise, but his number one is off the charts. It's higher than anything I've played. Um, uh, Gary's mod is n- number uh, five with oh, uh, twelve point three hours. I know what it is. Spelunky is number four with twenty hours on record. Valkyria Chronicles, yeah, forty one hours. Number three. Okay. So, down to the final two. Speaking of final, Final Fantasy VIII. You like what I did there? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I know number uh, one is Monday Night Combat. 75, 75 hours on record. Number one, are you retracting your Awesome, yeah. awesome Knots for Monday Night Combat? Yeah. Awesome Knots number one. What? With 408 what? hours. What the fuck? His number two is 75 hours. He's played 408 what? hours of well, Awesome I guess Knots. I was right with that Awesome Knots one. He must wow. have like sat in a menu at some point or something like that. <laughs> He's left for, it for like, days on end. Like, He's I, probably, he I probably left this. fucking bothered and then fucking goes He probably play. left his computer running back at, in the UK with Awesome oh, yeah, Knots. It's still, it's still clicking <laughs> up right now. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I've never. Awesome, what is Awesome Knots? It's a, like a 2D MOBA. Side scroll. Oh, okay. Mobile. Yeah. Man. The year is 3587. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> next one City Skylines. I also don't know what that is. I've been told by Mr. Alex that it's a, like a, a like a Sim City like oh, wait, oh. thing. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Sim City. What a fucking. God damn it. I hate the way you transition sometimes. <laughs> yes, it's SimCity 4, but better. Now, is oh, it have anything times better. to do with made the by developers? A, made, made by 20 developers. Keep in 20? mind. 20? 20 developers made the game. It's in early access right now. They're supporting mods, workshop. They're listening to the community. Is it, oh, so this is an indie game. Yes. Oh. And keep in mind that like people are preaching this and... SimCity 4 was made by EA Maxis. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not a 20-person team by any means. EA is not a 20-fucking-person team. And this company has come out and, like, made a better product than they could. And it has offline mode, which SimCity 4 was like, <gasps> there's no way you could do that, like, not with the programs and the engines and the time it takes for the cloud sync. You have to have it online. And, like, this company's offline mode, whatever, no problem. Like... <laughs> It's great. Yeah, yeah, oh, like I like God. I said, Alex had told me, and I've seen this around. It's it's what Sim City in general should have been. Um, yep. Is there any influence? Like, is there anyone from the Max's team that like switched over? Is this completely indie? I don't know. Like, That's a good question. I don't know. I feel like it's got to be because it has an influence. I'd, I'd feel like it'd be weird. It's either super like, fans or it's or it's someone from or there's some dev like switch like devs that came from Maxis. Yeah, it's got to be one of the two. Yeah, no, I'm, I definitely feel that it's got to looks have, pretty like, good. Some devs from it. Looking at pictures. Um, but yeah, I mean, it has the same like controls, the same like um, you know uh, premise. You have like zones, just like some cities did. You have transportation, but it just like it feels more fluid, and it feels like you have more tools to like, you know, if you want to build like some sort of like highway infrastructure thing on this side of the island, you can do that. You're more than welcome to do it. But then like it's cool. It's got like a progression thing where like you know you'll build a little town and you'll have it like somewhat functioning, and then like. The next phase will unlock where you, where you can now like buy police stations and fire stations, and you yeah. get those. The next phase will unlock where you can have like you can make districts and set policies for those districts. And then afterwards, you can have high residential areas where there's like apartments and like big hospitals, big fire stations. It's really cool. Like, you can like really get addicted to it if you like start putting hours into it because eventually you can start buying land that's like the size of the land you started with, and you might play in it for like three hours, and you can buy this next piece of land that's literally the same size as your piece of land so it's like you're building a whole other city again yeah like so have you been recording it or just playing i've just been playing it because it sounds like something i just want to like sit and just play for hours on it record those games because it's like SimCity 4 i get really like i pre-madonna-ish because like 
I want to have things a certain way, and you can never have that because it's not a perfect world. You can't just have square blocks. So the game takes that into account, so you can't have square streets. And I'm just sitting there like, how the fuck can I make this game right now? <laughs> like, I don't want this shit to look like goddamn Boston. I need this to look like New York City. <laughs> oh, yeah. 5.9 uh, 5. hours on record, by the way. Of what? That game, yeah. <laughs> Dan's <analyzed laughs> a lot. We talk about a game, by the way. I don't know if you've earlier. Noticed, I had pulled up your uh, your Battlefield Bad Company two hours actually as what well. Was that like forty something? Yeah, it was only yeah. like forty. Only yeah, I played like, mostly on Xbox for that. That's I, what I figured. Yeah. That's why I quickly retracted it and never pulled it up. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. I, I as someone who enjoys, I, I like what, what's that genre? Just simulation? Because I, I don't, I don't like, um, I don't like RTSs um, in the sense like where you have to build a military side as well. I more so just like economic, like roller t- coaster tycoon, like civilization games. Yeah, kind of. well, no, civilization games well, are war like based and stuff. Not, not necessarily civilization. It's like a is theme builder, on. city builder. It's like a yeah. subgenre of that. Just I guess, a builder but, in general, uh, and then like Skyline banished was really good. About. 1602 AD is one of the best games I've ever played that's like that. They made a sequel. Anno, anyway, Anno 70, really whatever, 17. <laughs> yeah, whatever well, I played the Anno 2070 or whatever. Yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, that was, that was an offshoot. Yeah, yeah, I played. I didn't play for very long. I, have, I think I have a copy of Anno 16, uh, 1602. Well, it's 1602 AD was the American version, but I'll get you a copy. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll be hook you up for it. <laughs> if you don't play it in the right uh, compatibility mode, it looks all wonky. <laughs> it's pretty good. The colors will be all like all mixed up. <laughs> pretty nice. Your people want a tavern. That was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Your okay. people need food. <laughs> a black play. plague is upon this house. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> you. <laughs> Origin had Theme Hospital for free, and I downloaded that. I was playing that the other day. Uh, what? Hospital? Really, yeah. Theme Hospital? It's a really old-ass game. <laughs> but, well, that's the only games that make free on there. But I was, just like, like, I was super playing it. I was like, this is all right. And, you know, build a little, like, hospital and, you know, run that. Really oh, em- Lemonade Tycoon. I remember that. Mm. Oh, I was a beast at that game. Oh. Lemonade type. Is lemonade type. Do you start a stand? You start a lemonade yeah. stand. You, you work your way. You work your way to big corp. There's like Scream, Scream Ride or something. Oh, I've heard of that. Uh, that was a PAX, and it's like a, another like roller coaster theme builder. But they take more like emphasis on like the roller coaster part, where you can like make like your own custom roller coaster and like ride it and do shit with it. So it looks interesting. I've been waiting for the like. I guess theme park like tycoon type of game for a while. So, I've got some codes for that if you want one. Do you? Yeah, I want to try it out. I want to try it out because I was I was pretty disappointed by Zoo Tycoon. I had like I never even for played it. that. Like that was the one thing I was gonna get when I got my Xbox, but I never got around to getting it. It, it just was too. It was like fucking Sea World Tycoon all over again. I don't know if you ever yep. played that one. That one was pretty bad. Oh, See, this is why you have to leave it to the indie devs. That was pretty good. Yeah. They'll do it right because they well, know they, the problems. Yeah, but they also have like they they have they have like the workshop feature. And like Ooh. I saw, like the um, I had someone had recreated like the Los Polos restaurant from Breaking Bad, <laughs> so you could like <laughs> Los Polos Hermanos, in, could s- install that, and that could be like a, a place, you know, like a randomly That's generated cool. place. So I thought that was. Does cool. it also generate meth revenue? <laughs> I don't think it generates meth <laughs> revenue. <laughs> That's the next. That's off the books. Meth Lab <laughs> oh, Simulator Underground Tycoon. It's like black market tycoon. Yeah, I fucked like up. I had built like a dump in the middle of <gasps> the city, and like everyone got sick, That's and I had crime this, lord like, tycoon. Yeah, I had crime this lord. major like uh, fallout where people were just dying, and I didn't have enough <laughs> crematories to like incinerate <laughs> them. So there's just bodies everywhere, and oh, they're like, like I, infecting people. Every time people. I would put a hospital down, like seven or eight, like all the ambulances would just all come out, and it would still be people dying. Like, I had to like <laughs> oh mass send people in for this pandemic because I built a dump in the middle of the city. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have something with the underground tycoon because we could do a thing. We have to create fronts. You have to create fronts. There's heat levels. Like you know, yeah, you have to watch your can... heat level. You have oh, to watch man. for undercover, uh, energy undercover. There, there's there's, there's uh, some turf war stuff, mode. but at the same time, someone like, builds a city and then you build the underground. Yeah. You're like working against each other. Wait, builds the city and built the. What, I thought you meant like built the underground like tunnels or something no, like that. Or, no. Okay, that's what. That's what, how what? you made it. Like, built the city, built the underground. I'm like, I'm not talking about the little talking? underground. What are you two saying like You this. two are talking about physically underground building. No, I'm not talking about physically underground. No, he I isn't, but he just demonstrated it that way. He was talking about geothermal yeah, stuff. So. <laughs> physically underground, like geothermal <laughs> nuclear energy. It's like, so like mining simulator. the Earth's core to, like, I bet I said, oh, like, yeah. And then 
No, no. Like, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, we're on the same page. <laughs> yeah. oh you're like, I was no, thinking, I was thinking that's page. like, oh I was thinking like, when you said thermal, I'm thinking like nuclear shit. Like, yeah, there could be. That's, uh, yeah, that's where like, I was yeah, like, you uh, have a coal power plant, plant, wind force. The, <laughs> see, the thing is, oh one of my favorite things is sometimes watching people when when you can tell they're on the complete opposite pages, <laughs> but for but some they reason they keep on going and they they're like going. Well, I was trying to maintain my train of thought, so that's why I just automatically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Alex. I'm gonna keep. Yeah, going. exactly. Because <laughs> that happens a lot where I get cut off and then I lose my train of thought. So, so anyway, oh, Crime man. Lord Tycoon. Crime you Lord can pick tycoon. your your front. You can pick your, your oh that mob be pretty tycoon. Good. That'd be pretty good. You could do that in SimCity Four. You could uh, like be evil, but then like that defeats the purpose of having a stable, functional city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, going on to the next topic: Star Citizen. Making, Speaking of making indie, headlines again and tycoons, um, they have currently raised seventy five million dollars. Holy what? shit! They are at seventy five million. I think on our last check, they were at like fifty or something like that. So I think they were at forty something million yeah. last time. We it's, checked. It, go, it goes on, up on, all the like, time. Like, they make insane money. amounts of money, um, like crowdfunding wise. <laughs> so it is obviously going to become the biggest crowdfunded thing ever, or crowdfunded game. I don't know if there's anything that's like crowdfunded more than that. Uh, and then they have announced that the file size is probably going to be roughly over a hundred gigabytes. <sighs> what um, of of stuff? Well, you gotta think you you're putting space into your computer, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty gotcha. much. I hope because they they're they're doing procedurally generated just, stuff. Well, oh. you, you remember Titanfall was 50 My. gigs. Yeah. So that was mostly audio files. GTA yeah. 5 PC is gonna be like 50 how you something can have gigs. 50 gigs of audio files. It just makes no. Sh- they they didn't have a good compression scheme. I for get that, them. but even then, it's like, do they fucking capture like? Uh, you know, fifty tracks of like raw audio, and they just import it straight. They don't sounds even like it. <laughs> it sounds like they did. They fucking put, so. they click the recording button on like the uh, uh, maybe they just the export it yeah, into yeah. the raw to I mean into the exe for <laughs> oh Titanfall. So Star Citizen definitely. I I was I jumped back in it the other day to get a bunch of the patches because um, I just sometimes like running around my hangar and looking at my ship. So that was kind of fun. Yeah, I don't know if I want to. You know. Uh, Use 100 gigabytes of my computer space to run around and look at my ship. Well, that's the thing. It's not ready yet, though, Alex. It's not ready. Oh, I've been hearing this. It's not ready. See, every time they meet a new goal, they're like, they always delay the game. Like, they'll be like, oh, I don't even know what their, like, like their schedule the fucking, is looking what like. What did I say? I linked it the other day. It was like the founder's pack is like $15,000. Oh, yeah, yeah. And people fucking spend what? that. People have spent $30,000 on that game. Like people spend a lot of money on this because they believe in it. That's the that's they a, believe that in it. Horrible. I spent two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars <laughs> for a video game. I, I wouldn't specifically, but like I was watching, I was watching Jordan play it a little bit, and I was like, this could be like a new Second Life sort of deal. Like people are going to fucking live in this. That's fucking the game. point. Yeah, like a universe project. That's the thing. point. Like they're they're building it to a point where it's going to be just like we're funding another life. Yes, yes. Really that's why people I, are spending thirty thousand dollars. They're like, I don't, I don't want, need. I don't like this life, but I have enough money to invest in a second life. Man. Is there going to be a I'm legitimate be currency space. system in that game? Yes. There is. Oh, then, that, then yeah. yeah, that's people are going to make a living playing yep. that game. Mm-hmm. That sounds horrible. As well as investing <laughs> in it. Oh yeah. It no, kind of goes back to that like, time that Eve Online heist got that guy to be a millionaire. Dude, that, the, the Eve oh. Online stories are cool though. That that like, did you hear that? Like, what? The, this guy heisted a bank in Eve oh, Online yeah, I, I, and I, I, made over like, and then he cashed out and made over a million dollars. Yeah, like, I remember you saw. I think we talked about that on Creature. Talk. Yeah, because because they have that currency exchange, so you can put in money and then you can like cash out and take money out yeah. as well. So like he stole money, he heisted a bank, stole all that money, and yeah, you could out. like you could do things where you could like infiltrate like a a clan and just like be part of their crew, but then like steal their assets and shit, and then, <laughs> like just fuck them over completely <laughs> by like being a traitor, and it's just like, yeah, like I'm just trying to like do the dishes right now, like <laughs> these people are like in their fucking homes, like doing all the, I don't know, that's crazy to me. Like, I put a lot of time into, like, like wow, that I thought, but, like, the amount of time you have to put into this. Because I'm thinking the game releases, like, the fucking grind will be insane. There will be servers fucked. Like, people will spend, like, days on end just trying to grind their way into, like, whatever, just to establish themselves. So. It's going to be an interesting thing. I, I hope they're planning for that because that what's going to happen is it's going to turn into an entirely new reality for people and they're and they're supporting vr 100 percent, obviously well yeah well how much was 
GTA, GTA was like the most expensive though. It was like 500 million or some shit. I like have that. no idea. Uh, overall invested into it was around 500 million. So 75 million is still 75 nothing. million crowdfunded. Right, that's the biggest thing. Right. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, like a lot of the big games that started out, they didn't really have like a huge money pool, especially starter games. So if they just, I guess, commit to it, they could pull off something really cool. As long as they're not like assholes and fucking take the money and then give us like this piece of shit space simulator that you can <laughs> literally go out and you just explore and you see a guy and you get in a little firefight and fucking die to like a rock hitting you or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, some stupid thing. They had, Asteroid. Uh, you fall oh out of God. space somehow. You hit a skybox and fucking fall yeah, down. You <laughs> push through the floor and fall. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. I, and it, like, yeah, it's it's so in depth, like that, what they're setting up for, like, you know, like ship insurance and like all that. And, like, what? Fuck, dude. Does, yeah, does the ship founder, insurance? Does the founder pack like buy you a small planet? No, I it hope buys so. you a fleet. It buys you ships. Uh, it buys you a massive fleet. Who mans all that? You you have to Reclaimed. like. I think you actually get to like hire AI and stuff, uh, and then you get to hire like normal people as well to run the stuff. And then fucking normal people come in, wreck the AI. And hey, like, that's nothing a, I can that's do. why you gotta like yeah. you know hold them accountable and stuff, and like be either like a ruthless leader that like shoots everyone that, like. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how it comes out. I'm You're going to have excited. like a contract system where That's if you like pay fuck up the fleet, then... like, what the fuck? Uh, kind of. It's you life. You own a fleet, and I'm just going to... I mean, I'm, I'm with great the game. power comes great game. responsibility. I you know, paid a dollar. I got like an email saying, hey, thanks, bro. And then like I start up my little stupid ass <laughs> fucking squirt ship, and like this motherfucker comes out with thirty G's in the game, and a fleet just comes like, out of the harbor. How do you grind like, in the regular? Yeah. Game? How do you grind Star in the regular Raider, game when it comes on. out? <laughs> when the game comes out, like official launch, yeah. I guess. Uh, how do you grind in the regular game? Is you, there like you, a story? Or you is... have a career, so yeah. you, you pick a career that you want to be. So you can be a bounty hunter, like uh, okay. trader, smuggler. Like it just you, you pick your way, and then you make money. Gotcha. I was saying grind by like spending a lot of time investing into doing whatever the fuck you need yeah. to do to like make money and you know own the universe. I guess <laughs> it's gonna be like some fucking. Sounds like Eve. It's gonna be like yeah, it's gonna be like Eve, where some like big ass clan is just gonna own literally the universe and like people are gonna try to contest them, but it doesn't matter because they're just gonna be like, oh, they destroyed our fleet. We're gonna give like another thirty grand, buy two more fleets. Fuck these guys. <laughs> guess we'll see what happens. Uh, it's gonna be insane. Meanwhile, Excited. the people over there are just like, "Hey, how much we make today? Like, four hundred thousand. Oh, all right, let's take a day off." <laughs> <laughs> some, yeah, some nerds bought some ships because they had a big space war. <laughs> what a bunch of losers! Lots of casualties. Lots of money for us, though. It's like let's make a new patch where the ships are even more fragile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Let's make a patch where there's fifty more types of ships and ship skins. Oh, ship oh, skins. ship skins, dude. They're gonna make. They're gonna make. See, that's the thing. Someone's gonna open up like a ship spray, ship like a, a ship spray, ship like a uh, what's it called? Paint spray. Sort of? Yeah, paint spray. Oh so like God. a Mako. <laughs> so they're gonna be like painting ships for a living and like going through. I like believe... I want a skull on the front. I want flames on the can side. I, can I start like just like a a ship wash like center? <laughs> Like just ships ship getting wash. dirty, all that space dirt on it. Yeah, I mean, right? You, they you land on different that. planets. Get the ship. Oh dirty yeah, I went into a dust. desert atmosphere the other Check day the when oil. I landed the I'll ship. Just be a successful spaceship <laughs> you know, washing center, and you know, lots of people are going to come to it. No, we just specialize on windows. No, no ship exterior. Maybe like some workshop thing. I can like work on little like uh, tree smell things. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, like scent things. Air freshening air freshening air. up into their yeah, ships. I got the biggest and selection can, of air fresheners on this side of the galaxy. Spaceship, uh, you know, uh, surplus center. Hey, guys, we're reenacting the entire movie of Guardians of the Galaxy. Could you please get out of our airspace? <laughs> oh, my God. I our believe it. I just bought the Milano our and had it designed service? especially. I paid $20,000 for it. Why do you sound like that freaking guy that did, I don't like, know. the... Did you see that video? The, Which one? The, uh, the Phantom Menace review that I sent you, like, the 10 parts. <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't seen it? Wait, no. I, well, I, don't, I don't remember. <laughs> the, the was it that guy who reviewed the pizza that one time no. and degreased it? It was It was this guy who reviewed, like, the Phantom Menace, and he, oh, like, no. really hated the film, and he made, like, seven parts about how much he hated it. It was really funny to watch. Watch, though. No, uh, I, I wasn't doing that. I, I can't. But that's what he sounded like when uh, he was talking like this, yeah. guys. <laughs> we can get out of our space zone. We're, <laughs> we're trying to film Guardians. You guys, we're ones. having a wedding here. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, there's going to be Star Citizen. It's like fucking oh, wow. Oh, oh, like oh, having like a star service. service. If there's Star Citizen oh. weapons, I hope you can do Star Citizen fucking like uh, 
raids where you can send in a giant fleet to bombard whatever. Oh, like, you're going to be able to do whatever you want. We'll, we'll just get this whole crew together and just completely destroy. You know what I want to do? I just want to be like, I just want to see a space <laughs> battle and just like have my little like dinghy or whatever. <laughs> yeah. and just fucking crash that into some ship. <laughs> like full on crash. <laughs> like they'll be like, I think that took like 2% that, damage for as a result of that. But that was it's already, cool. it's already regenerated. So. Somebody, somebody Someone's like, coming in hot towards <laughs> us. They're risking it all. <laughs> someone, in the, someone in the chat said, I'm making a Star Trek machinima. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's expanded universe. I'll contact oh. the rebel fleet and be like, like, remember me as I go down and just fucking like, who crash. is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the uh, arcade launch where everybody like, the people that started off and played beta had so enough time to like grind up and get like these huge warships and shit. But then like all the starter ships on launch, they were just these little rowboats. And then they'd like <laughs> their the first mission in the boat would be go from here and then complete your quest over here. But you'd have to like go through this little area of like open water, and then but you couldn't be attacked in it, so everything was fine, except for there was, like, ship collisions. So there would be, like, a peninsula and then a warship hiding behind the peninsula. So when they saw a rowboat, they'd, there would be a guy up on there, and he'd be like, hey, there's a boat coming. And then when the boat got up to the opening of the, like, mouth, just, like, the ship would push the dinghy out into open water, and then they'd just kill them. <laughs> like, nobody, everybody wow. was, like, stuck on that part for, like, a day. Wow, that guy was a jerk. Oh my god! It was also very <laughs> resourceful. People people will exploit shit the second yeah. they can in masses. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then it will be patched out. Hopefully, hopefully. whatever well, the exploit is. Uh, you can't beta test live. It's true. No. You can't beta <laughs> test live. <laughs> I'm excited Jordan? though. We'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> we'll see what what happens. Happens. It sounds exciting. So, <laughs> get to the last to the last two topics here. There are some movies announced. That were happening. Well, mm, that first one isn't necessarily <laughs> official. Yes, it is. Not that I saw. Mm. I did. Okay. I okay. did. Okay. All right. Mm. I know nothing okay. about this. Some different sources here. <clears throat> okay, fine. I won't talk about it. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Wow. Well, well, on the rumor the mill. Mill. I'll say it <laughs> 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 the, the, There could be a Tron 3. <laughs> Wait, what was Tron 2? That's a good question. Tron, Tron 2 is Tron, Tron Legacy. Legacy. Oh. This was actually one of the first movies we oh, watched okay. in the first is Creature it, House. Uh, original Wait, Tron, it, Tron, Tron, Legacy. Tron, Tron Legacy. Huh? What? Wait. Hmm. Tron Legacy. Tron, the fucking old ass retro film. Yeah. Yes. But isn't Legacy the, literally the same thing? No. Tron Legacy was a sequel. Oh wait, yeah, because yeah, he goes. Legacy. Oh, because his, his dad. Son, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So what? His dad's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> so they're right. unknowing of the fate of Korra and. Uh, nobody, uh, nobody but Jordan knows the name of Olivia Wilde's character in Tron Legacy. <laughs> I thought you were talking I'm just about saying. Legend of Korra. Why? I'm just saying. Tron was good. I guess it kind of left it off at like a cliffhanger, but it didn't really need to be. It wasn't really a cliffhanger at all. Like, <sighs> it's been a long time since I've seen that film. Yeah, it wasn't really anything that could. It could have led to out. something else. Yeah, but it, it supposedly uh, Killian Murphy's character is supposed to be the bad guy. I've heard, and then um, what's his name? Sam's. I, I don't know Sam's actor's name. Oh, Garrett Hedlund or something uh, like that. Garrett, yeah, Garrett Hedlund. Hedlund, something like yeah. So. <laughs> he hasn't Hedlund. done a whole lot. Since. I, I know because he's a complete oh, yeah. loser. Because I was saying thing. that I was saying that to, to like the other day about Richard Armitage. Uh, yeah. he hasn't done much, yeah. and he's Richard the star Armitage. of the Heart of the Hobbit he, movies. He's just like he's Martin. the same exact thing as uh, Viggo Mortensen. You know, yeah, he barely did anything. Well, he's done a bunch of indie stuff, and that's yeah. that's. And James was like, "Well, what about that guy in Tron? That kid in Tron?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, he hasn't done a whole lot. He's done independent stuff, but not like." So it'd be cool if Kelly Murphy's character came back. Well, that was the what the writers were originally saying was his character. Killian Murphy's character was the son of the bad guy in the first one, mm -hmm. and so the third one, he's in there only as a tease for the third one, which would be his character yep. doing whatever he ends up doing. But um, okay, it says uh, uh, Van City Buzz is reporting that Tron 3 is gearing up for a fall shoot. Yeah, so mm. that's what I heard. Hmm. Cameras, uh, according to the outlet, however, cameras will begin rolling October 5th. So there you That's go. not going to see until like probably 2017, 18. Yeah. Probably be a little bit. Yep. 
Okay. Sounds good though. I'm but excited. It's Disney though, so they'll probably pump out the. Doesn't matter. Do you know how many fucking good movies we are coming out pretty soon here? This like, year is. Did anyone see Chappie? By the way, Jeez. Joe did. Oh, Joe did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Joe saw Chappie. He said it was pretty good. He said it was a little weird, but um, I'm sure in the chat he'll regale people with the story of his going to see. Well, it. he's asking where we want to eat after this because he's hungry. Oh, oh my God. Eight, just, well, I, I gotta go. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> Yep, Chick fil A. Everybody Seven in the chat. Yeah. Do you want Taco Bell? Not again. Uh, what about. This has nothing to do with the podcast, Jordan. Dude, I don't, know. I don't even want to talk about stupid Dumbo. All right. And then Tim Burton's. Like the worst Tim Bur- topic about it. I literally saw a thumbnail that said, like, to direct Dumbo. And yeah, like, Tim Burton's oh, going to direct okay. Dumbo, live action Dumbo. A live movie. action Dumbo. That's weird. I don't know. Like, hey, you know the article I read said it's going to be a CGI and live action combination. Well, like, why? Oh. what do you think? It's going to be a real fucking it's gonna be a elephant big, the entire real time? Like, real ears and, like, talk. I hope so. I hope it's, like, Shamu or something. Yeah, like, fucking Dumbo. Dumbo, it's, just it's, like, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> like, Dumbo, no! Well, I mean, Disney started the the, the trend of them Scissor doing their live-action <laughs> remakes. <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Cuts off oh. his ears. <laughs> oh <my> um, <laughs> but <laughs> Disney Disney started their trend of doing the live-action remakes with Tim Burton with the Alice yeah. in Wonderland yeah. sequel. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Andy yeah. Circus. Jungle Book. What about it? Live action yeah. Jungle Book. What the is f- that Disney? No, no, John. No. There's two different Jumble, yeah, Jungle Book no. live action uh, interpretations happening right now. I think oh, Andy really? Serkis is with Warner Brothers doing it, and uh, John Favreau, who directed the Iron Man movies, yeah, yeah. is directing the Disney one. Andy Serkis is doing the good one with Christian Bale as Bagheera and stuff like that, and uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is being Shere Khan in that. The cast for Andy Serkis is far better for me than and the Disney Kate Blanchett's one. in there fucking too. like uh, Bill Murray's Baloo in the Disney version. Um, well, that's gonna be about it, isn't it? And and uh, Ben Kingsley is Bagheera, I think, in that. Wow, that's gonna be so. Those are both shooting right now. That happens a lot, where it's like every once in a while there will be two interpretations of something, like the Snow White a couple years ago. They had uh, uh, the, oh the the Mirror Mirror and uh, Mirror Mirror and the, the which was Snow White and the Huntsman, the Disney one, and then the Snow White and the Huntsman, both garbage. I think Mirror Mirror was Disney, wasn't it? Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. That was the one that had what's her name, like uh, wasn't that Julia Roberts? Yeah, Julia Roberts. That that movie was bad. <laughs> that movie was bad. I could at least like sit through Snow White and the Huntsman. Like the Mirror Mirror one was so bad. But Ugh. yeah, that happens a lot. Deep Impact, Armageddon. Uh, I Frankenstein apparently at the time there was, a, there was supposed to be another Frankenstein interpretation coming out at the same. Probably like, would have been better. Time. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been. Oh. But I mean, it happens a lot. Ants, Bugs Life, oh, those yeah, came out at the same time. Life. Like, I guess that's it, that is more common than I thought. Yeah, it so. happens a lot. But. Well, that's gonna do it for today's Creech Talk, ladies. Wait, and wait, no, no, no. We have one more thing to oh, talk about. Okay. Alexander, you're newly unprivated. Anybody can go on and comment. Uh, it's theme. just friends only. I know. Ooh, I'm just okay. kidding. I was making a joke. Yeah, I don't want to even comment. <laughs> All right. I'll comment on it while I can um, before you reprivate it. Okay, so <laughs> Alex is top. Five. Well, first off, everybody but Alex. What's the number one? Jordan, why'd you walk away? Global offensive. The, you're a part of this, Jordan. I'm thinking. Yeah, but you're a part of this. I'll Sit be down. I'll back in a second after I think. <laughs> He's going into his right. thinking corner. Everybody give a, give a moment here. to Give him a big uh, round of thinks. Yeah, I guess right now. It's I, just I guess. him. I, I'm looking at it. Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah, yeah. Counter-strike global offensive. Uh-huh. Jordan, what's your guess? <laughs> He's looking at Alex like analyzing his face. into his eyes. Yeah. He's trying to see the game. Well, let's start off with number five, The Sims 3. I'm sorry, The Sims, parentheses, TM, and parentheses, 3. Uh, 42 hours on record. That's pretty impressive for The Sims 3. That was a lot of time invested. Jordan, any guess yet? Number four is Dark Souls, TM, no parentheses, 2. Uh, 48 hours on record. Jordan, any guesses yet? Well, number three might throw you off, Jordan, if you have any guesses yet. Number three is Warface. I've never even heard of this game. No, that's a glitch. It says 53 hours on record. Yeah, I mean, I have it right I here. I mean, I have I it right here. I once for an hour, and <laughs> I fucking hated uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, Warface say, 50, I don't even I'd know say what Counter Warface. Strike. He's saying kind the of only person yeah. with counter. I don't think I've seen Alex play another game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like. Well, one and two are 
Gary's Mod and Counter Strike. Which is number one? Counter Strike. Counter Strike. You're right. <laughs> Gary's Mod 164 hours. 100. That's pretty impressive. That's more than James, I think. And Counter Strike Global Offensive 810 what the fuck? hours. <laughs> What the fuck? Right. I don't even idle. Huh? I don't even idle. See, I was thinking back in the day with TF2, everyone would brag their numbers, and everyone idled back. Yeah, well, I, 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 had I hated a, idling well, so much. Is, I, have, I never uh, did it. I, I have a friend that does like strictly competitive, and he, he's like, you know, he he was like uh, like five ranks or something under me, and he'd be like, "Yeah, I have like two thousand hours." Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, what do you do in that amount of time? Like, if you're not going to be like, yeah, I idled that much. But yeah. if you're going to be like, yeah, I played the game 2,000 hours, it's like, and you're really bad? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, why the fuck are you playing this game for 2,000 hours? Like, uh, Jesus. What? <coughs> well, Alex. I'm getting close to 1,000. I'll get there pretty soon. You know who doesn't have 48 hours on record in Dark Souls 2? Who? Oscar. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... Thanks, everybody, for joining us for Creature Talk. Today. Hey. Uh, hey, wallet. Yeah, they're telling them, don't forget your wallet. Thank you, everybody.